your own lateness, you know? Oh, especially when you angle this part down. Good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to another Patch Note show. Particularly when you angle that I part guess. down. Version 2, part 2, is going to be here. And today is going to be all about the... This is the one that a lot Thanks. of you regular players have been looking forward to all year long. And to join me on okay. this joyous occasion of every season, as always, is going to be Pompon, AJ, and Clumsy from the design team. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? All right. Doing all right. Been okay. busy, busy, busy. <laughs> yep. We're, yep. And now we've got a big old pile of changes, some really cool stuff, Give you a and I'm excited to get into it. Changes. So when we go over this, then let's just break down a few things. What are the overall okay. goals you guys have for season six? Like generally we come into a new season and go, okay. this is what we're aiming for. Am I sitting right in and I feel lap? like last year you kind of achieved what you set out to do. Thank you. Um, season like. five was a big shift. Yeah, but I just give you credit. Uh, yeah. He's so nice. Are you late or the He's not sad blurry? at all. It's a little blurry. Uh, season five was a, a big change for us as a team and the way we go about plans and the way we communicate our goals and try to achieve them. Right um, we set out uh, to a very few specific things like the conquest changes. We want, really wanted to focus on problems and solutions to problems. Mm -hmm. And we tried to make sure every single change was identified through a player perception mm -hmm. type of uh, perspective. Perception. Make sure we could understand why players would feel positively or negatively about a change. So, so even we, if uh, like a god was strong in our numbers wise but people didn't like him or said it was bad we tried to work around that sort of thing correct correct okay, okay. yeah we so we tried to make you know win rates matter a little less mm -hmm. ban rates matter a little more um okay. really look at the community feedback and look I at uh, like popularity that actually. and ban rate to see what's getting played and I make adjustments like accordingly and even if things may be strong and or we tried to not do so much where we just pull numbers and say Basically, we're they're right because you know? like, that doesn't really saying, hey remember how anywhere. nike's the best god and of the game because their win rate's so good um, so we changed i guess a lot they're of gonna stray year, a little bit away working from really well i think everyone's Which been pretty positive about balance good. this year yes, they should yeah. be straying straying away season six what's the difference is what are you aiming for this year well i just want to mention we're going to continue with mostly that strategy okay cool focusing on the perception and the feels of changes and a little bit less on the win rates so absolutely, but of course we keep things within a reasonable, constrained uh, upper and lower bounds, right? Yeah. Um, and looking for specific problems and solutions. And that's really what we tried to apply to this patch notes that we're going to go over today. Well, let's begin with some item balance. I'm going to start Make off sure with my camera's three not too items. Much in the, way. the blessings, or the ones that are non-conquest specific, so they're available wow. in all the other game modes outside of conquest. We'll begin with attacker's blessing. This is an item that, obviously, it's an that's early game perfect. item, but it's bit too potent has been the issue that a lot of people have complained about so it's going to get a bit of a nerf this patch Attackers it's going to go from blessing. 50 to 100 so a stacks to evolve this item to get the penetration I guess. yep uh and so this will be a similar theme through the rest of these non-conquest blessings is they stack very 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 quickly within mm. like sometimes the first minute i don't know what that mostly is I'm stacked sorry. up maybe within the first two or three we want them to take a little bit longer and so attackers is which is already really good is just going to take longer the other ones are going to take longer but also have some adjustments to them to help them along well we'll go through those two as well then defender's blessing which is more for the supportive aspect of the tanky option uh, it's going to be increased stacks from 50 to 75 and evolved defender's blessing will now give you health which is going to be more so it was 100 it's now going to be 150 and mana was 100 now going to be i don't know anything about these and then Are these good changes? Blessing, the more of a supportive aspect and mobility aspects i'd say uh, this is now going to get increased mp5 from 10 to 20 and increased stacks required to evolve from 50 to 75 Five. So a bit of a buff and a shift though at the same time with those yeah. two. I'm getting Slowing yes, these down. are good changes. Uh, just from a chat. little bit. They're okay. great items. Yeah, absolutely. If you're yeah. playing arena, should you get these items, Clumsy? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. One of the things really that we didn't write on the notes as well is that we've updated a lot of the recommended builds for um these blessings specifically oh, so cool. for example you know hunters mages as well as i believe assassins they probably did pick up cool. assassins or sorry um attackers blessing yeah, and right. now that's gonna be in the recommended item profiles good point so really we're trying right. to make this the starter item the blessing concept more clear to all types of players new yeah. players veteran players etc mm -hmm. conquest players non-conquest players um and most of this season i think these items were a little bit sleeper like a lot of people didn't really look at them too much but the, the players who played well and played those modes more hardcore were buying these items a lot yep. and they're seeing how powerful they are. Yep. Well, so really we just wanted to bring defenders okay, and cool. specialists up to the levels of attackers okay. so they all I'm felt down universally for good. Attackers items was really the core favorite this year. It's weird that and then we wanted to adjust that that pacing just a little bit just for itself, feels and timing but... reasons. Well, there's not really anyway. many items outside of the game that, well, outside of Conquest <laughs> that get picked up, but those are the only three. We'll right. move on to one of the Conquest Blessings yeah. as well, though. It's going to get a bit of a buff this patch. Warrior's Blessing Ooh. is on the list here. Increased health and mana restored per trigger from 30 to 40. An Evolved Warrior's Blessing is going to evolve to give you protections, which was 10. It's now going to be 15 at this moment in time. Uh, reason for that is it just a little bit 
low compared to what it should be. That that's the it was, please I stop think buying Guardians um, blessing and decided the by the player base this so. year that uh Warrior's Honestly. Blessing was just a little bit on the low end compared to the others. Right. And specifically the class that goes it's with basically the Warriors reverting blessing, the, the Warriors, nerf. Yep, uh, exactly. Wanted to be a little bit tankier in the early game and when they evolve those. So what you're going to see is more regen here and more protections. Does Artemis really just have trying new to add more diversity to the solo pictures lane pictures on her abilities power of warriors in this does anybody see and that to give them a bit more of a chance things we've seen quite a lot of guardians Those blessings even what on they normally look well, like right? exactly so Am I crazy? Um, although you know this is the only conquest blessing we're adjusting here mm. um we're trying not to Hurt the quality of life ago? for supports so by changing funny. Guardians I never Blessings even, rules I haven't played Artemis in forever. Um, to make it more complicated or more mm -hmm. specific. Forever. But we want to buff Warriors and Warriors Blessings, and we're making some changes to the map to encourage a more active play style over there in that solo lane. This is just one part of the Why does he have two million possible. movement We, we definitely have our eye on Guardians Blessing, but there's a lot of different things that we're going to be going on to here. And we can also revisit, you know, in the next couple months, next couple of patches if need be. Well, we're going to have an entire feedback phase yeah, yeah, immediately yeah, after okay. today. I mean, I'm going to, as soon as this show's over, me pop <laughs> Be running back to our fine. desk. I mean, nobody's to get on Twitter up, and the pro so, feedback Discord yeah. and see the Reddit mega threads and I see don't your mind feedback. But a buff like for that. now, we don't want to nerf Guardians Blessing because it will have a specific negative impact on supports. Okay. And we want to try to buff solo lane through other means that oh, don't Ajax, hurt other Oh, Ajax, you know things. the way to Sounds my heart. Sounds pretty good. Maybe some of the changes yeah. will do that as we get further yeah, thank along. Thank you. That's it for the blessings, though. We'll move on to <laughs> relics. There's only going to be one relic change. Oh, really? This patch Seriously? horrific emblem. We're going to be decreasing the slow from 40% to 30% and decreasing the attack speed slow from 25% to 15% too. Oh, right. The upgraded horrific emblem, however, that will also have the decreased slow was 40%, now will be 30%. The attack speed slow remains at 25% and the decreased damage dealt debuff from 20% to 15% overall here. So this is taking a, a couple of hits, but then Boring. keeping some of its identity. Everybody yeah, just buys Sprint HRX, again. The it's the prevalence of Horrific <laughs> Emblem. It was, it was pretty potent. You do use it, they'd be That's slow, the they couldn't really counter back. That's the only thing they're popular. changing on Relics? Of damage. Seriously? Um, just very one? Very popular start. We're just toning I mean, it down. Everybody's to just going to go back balance. to getting tier yeah. two. We're just again. hoping to keep an eye on that still, just in case it gets too low down, I guess. Means. Yeah. Well, I can't even run it really. We'll see. It still it still provides a really powerful Honestly. effect. It does. Just in what it does alone. The numbers so. were maybe just a little overtuned, making it a more clear, obvious choice to win your lane. We want to make sure that Shell, even Meditation, which we've seen has had some, some um, popular moments from time to time, yep. not just in the uh, new player scene, uh, as well as Sprint. Uh, wings, heavenly wings. We see a lot of different options. I in that still call it sprint. Too. Of course, everybody <laughs> does. Who's old school? But Calm. you know, we want to have a lot of options, especially in that duo lane, mm -hmm. where you see a lot really of really flexibility. And horrific clearly took over. Yeah, definitely. In our most recent, when, when you get so. Evolved horrific emblem at level yeah. one, you know it's probably just a little bit too strong. Yeah. So is the thing with the evolutions? That's fine. Next, I, mean, up, I don't though, mind this it getting nerfed. It's just here's the spicy one. I didn't think we'd start with these. These are some exciting stuff. I don't know how this is. the consumables. Oh, I'm super excited to hear. Elixir. Of speed. Yep. It's a new item in the game. It's going to cost you 2,000 gold to purchase this. This consumable increases your movement speed by 18% permanently. The effect does not stack with movement speed from boots or shoes. This effect lasts, it says X minutes I've got down here. It's really long time. Right, okay. <laughs> It's just because I don't have a specific time, and I just read it. Like, it's oh. nine 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 right now. Right. Yes. Cool. So, so for they're nine, giving nine, you nine a way to minutes, sell boots until you go no boots at the end of the game. It's effectively it's all only going to be available in conquest game right. modes as well. Mm -hmm. Right. It's going to be so, so bad this is for a snowball. Speed buff That's so bad for snowball. But it doesn't stack. Right. Correct. Every time they do Cozy, something like that. Yeah. Explain the moment. What is the short so pitch? So, I mean, if you guys saw my tweet earlier today, uh, yesterday about the, the spoiler, this is the radish of the turnip that people were talking about. The short is is that this elixir does not stack with boots. So once you get, you know, 35, 40 minutes into the game, and you're, you're sitting on five items, you've got your boots, and you kind of just wish you had another item, well, well now you can. You, you buy this elixir of speed for 2,000 gold, you sell your boots, and that's the idea, because the movement speed doesn't stack with each other, and then you buy yourself a sixth item. And you go crazy. This is the boots replacement late game item. So if you've got movement speed items, though, they're not going to help you, are they? No, no, they, no. no. They those those oh, they'll work still normal. help you, but boots this themselves. Is, yeah, will so help you could yes. build a movement speed build and effectively replace that boots slot with another movement speed and go faster. But that's not really yeah. the intent of this. So item. now we get six items. That's the now main intent is that you get yeah, six exactly. item diversity late game. Items. So we had a cool. power buff 
elixir. We had a defense buff elixir. Oy, we wanted babe. to add another facet to the late yeah, game. And this is a, be... ta- an issue we've tackled before. We've right. tried a lot of it's different hard. things, but we wanted a little know. bit we'll more variance. We'll have to see how it goes, but the first thing this that I think when I see is that is, oh boy, now the team that's up 10k yeah. also has a whole other item The cost is adjusted appropriately because really, this potion does nothing. If you buy and drink it for 2,000 gold and your build is normal, right? You already have boots, you just got a speed buff that does nothing. It doesn't stack. So we have to embed the actual cost of replacing your boots. Yeah, because so it's, lose, a little bit of, the it's a little the boots bit of too, uh, exactly. well, don't you? Because right. yes. you've got to buy your boots. Right. You're going to buy them anyway. You're not going to have two thousand uh, gold to just go eighty percent movement speed. Yeah. That's not valuable, right? Technically. So the other elixirs are three k. You need about three k because then you sell your pots. You'll mm. get that additional seven hundred ish, uh, five sixty eight or something like that. That's interesting. Somewhere around. Yeah, there. something like It'll that. Then you'll be able to buy at least like a tier two item and replace it immediately. Or yeah. you'll need to wait until you're about yeah. that thirty five hundred gold tier at the end game. So instead of getting the red or blue elixir, you can get the yellow one and switch in an item. Oh, that is boy. exciting. Yes. That's yes. really exciting. Yeah, it will stack with rap. <laughs> We're very excited <laughs> to see how the Did it say it doesn't stack with acorn? Oh, yeah. yeah. Instead, it doesn't stack with boots. Rat doesn't have boots. There might be a few gods that yeah, get, get much better with I'm this in the world. There's no reason why it shouldn't stack with acorn unless they specifically say Rat no boots. I'd love to make sure that that works Rat no boots can't sell boots. Well, rat is poised as an early game character. Yeah, get screwed. If you're in rat in this late stage, Sorry, you're good because I'm sick of drafts. Blink rat yeah. level they, one anyway. Unless they're saying as, as we mentioned earlier as well, boots. is that this uh, elixir only exists in the conquest game mode. We wanted yes. to make sure, you know, it was tuned specifically for the timing that we've mentioned oh, just now. And we found, you know, in other game modes where the spooling was going to be a little bit different. Well, that'll definitely there, change yeah. the game, so man. This is only going to be a conquest elixir. Because here, an assault straight away. That's the big game changing right moment. Or first elixir. Six items. I guess you can do that. Quite not good. Quick double check on this. Does this persist through death? Yes. yes. yes it okay. Does. So it doesn't say that so on there, it's and I thought I just cleared that. The, permanent, the permanently part is a is a just the really long duration super, super and through clear. death. But yeah, yeah yes. that's correct. Goodness. So that's consumables. Itchy. Next up, we're going to move on to Oof. magical items. Most of these will probably be focused okay. towards mages, but guardians also pick up magical items too. So mm-hmm. expect some of those in here. We'll begin with cursed we'll orb. Oh, is the first one on new here. New item. So I mean, kind of a new one. Yes. Is that a new item? Well, we're going to have Doom Orb, which is now a tier three, and Cursed Orb, the tier two. We so these kind of go together. Tier three. Yes. So Cursed okay. Orb is like going to be a new item that's technically tier two of Doom Orb. Correct. Cursed Orb is the cool. old Doom Orb with reduced stats. So Cursed okay. Orb will be 1600 gold, 55 magical power, 75 mana, 20 MP5 to 15 MP5, and 3% movement speed. Passive. Killing or assisting an enemy minion provides you with one stack, granting 1% movement speed and three magical power per stack. Okay, Stacks last for 10 thing. seconds and stack up to five times. Yeah, I don't enemy understand that MP5 Provide five part, stacks but... straight away. Then we'll have to follow this up with the Doom Orb because Doom this orb. is going to be a tier three item now. It'll cost 3,000 gold for Doom Orb. Look at him run. And it's going to be so 135 fast. magical power for Doom Orb. 200 mana. 25 MP5, okay. six movement okay. speed, and killing or assisting an enemy minion provides you with one stack, granting 1% movement speed and six magical power per stack. Stacks last for 15 seconds and stack up to five times. Enemy gods provide five stacks. Guys, Doom Mob's been through a lot of different iterations from the early days of so, Season 1 all the way through to now. It's basically it kind of just like this giving Doom Orb a higher variant that you can continue to build potentially into. Like extra mobility bursts. So it just, this I mean, feels it gives like you a lot the same of power. Sort of identity, but plus movement further. speed, right? right? Yeah. Exactly. So it was definitely, so. It, kind of, it was really good for what it was. It was this nice bridge item that you could build, but mages really care about but the power. How much was it? Really how much did it cost, though? Yeah. Was it 3,000 gold? And so Doom Orb, even though it was potent when you first bought it, it just couldn't keep up with other builds as you got later and later on this kind of three thousand gold it makes it now really expensive i mean think about that's a rod of tahuti it can really enable quick, some is, quick rotations you know, it can really enable so. you to have like a nice power spike early and then may sacrifice it compared to other potential options but keep up with other builds so it really kind of gives it, it just a new lease on life it'll be well, good it's, that'll probably be good on some people though like more rotational gods right yeah absolutely i think it's going to be really strong in fact i think we the price currently is listed as 3000 probably even increase that to around 32 or 3300 yes. i'm messaging um, isaiah right now it seems like a couple of our numbers earlier off. most Ooh. recent tweaks that are definitely on our notes doc and will be correct in patch notes when they're posted today. Yes. But it's still nine, 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 nine minutes for- That's actually intended. Four, four, yeah. 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 I yeah. wanted to make it the rest of the match, but I don't have a button that just says rest of the match. In <laughs> oh, here, that's true. Okay, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. So, so we're like, how many nines before right. it's obnoxious? I did suggest three nines. But Pawn was like, maybe you could play a whole match where that would fade. And I was like, all right, fine. <laughs> that we'll is poor. Nice yeah. We've yeah. seen games we, go that we've long. We've had long games. Uh, I mean, that would be but, that'd be good. Like, like, it's it's it very slight game. tweaks. We did it make, increase Ymir the cost jungle. on this. So 
Tier three Doom Orb is very strong so, in our yeah. testing. The extra this power is a really strong tier item. Three. Very interesting. That's it's really an fun item too, and we liked the to passive, but that tier two version just really roles, held it back being so. forced bridge items. So, exactly. Yeah. There we go. So that's Doom Orb. Next up, we're going to talk about Book of Souls real quick. This is for the Book of Tough Tree, uh, the Soul Reaver. Items like that. Ooh, it's going to get a bit of a nerf this patch. Right? 65 power. Yep. It was. It's now going to be 55. I guess that's to do with how quickly we've seen the rushes. It was Book a two, strong Book two rush. Two. Yeah. It was a really yeah. common start. Okay. If not the most popular. Yeah, we so. buffed Mage's Blessing a little bit towards the end of the year, and we thought that would help bring down the number of Book of Souls we saw, but, you know, but we think enough. it, it is probably appropriate to give it a small power nerf as well. And not only Book of Souls, though, Book of Toth will Ooh. actually get a little bit of a look at here as well. Ooh. We're actually going to decrease the cost of Book of Toth mm -hmm. okay. from 2800 to 2650. Interesting. The passive now only converts mana gained from items. Ooh. There you go. Increased oh. mana of mana converted to magical power from 3% to 6%. Oh, and increased bonus minus conversion when evolved this. from 2% to 3%. So if you're going to go Book of Toth now to get the most out of this, you want to be building items with mana on. Okay. Exactly. And so it won't affect your base They stats. nerfed some of it, but they also like buffed some correct. of it a ton. Right. I don't know so how the, the real goal here was make this more this. of a build synergy item and not a catch-all item. So if you see someone building Book of Toth, you can go, oh, I expect him to probably be going Book of the Dead. Right. And stuff like that, you know, with more right. mono items. And yeah. Math Master Pawn here can here go into go. a little more detail on this yep. one. Go yeah, for so, we had, so basically it was really interesting to try and figure this out because a lot of characters also have different base mana costs. And so you had to like take the worst case mage scenario where they had the lowest amount of mana and the highest mage case scenario where they had the highest amount of mana. Figure out kind of where things average. And the, the quick TLDR of it all is if you just build this on its own, is likely going to be weaker than it was before when you built it. Yeah. Now, if you build it and you build it with maybe the cooldown boots, maybe you throw a Soul Reaver in there, maybe you throw a Book of the Dead in there, it actually will be more potent, but you had to build those items that sacrifice things like pen or cooldown. Mm, that's true. Specifically, it was tuned to require okay. you build about two additional yeah. mana items to equal, although the numbers look buffed here, the way that one bullet point about shifting from items is a big one, is a yeah. big nerf. So really, you need to build about two additional mana items to pair with it for it to be at about the same power it was before. So a um, fairly large own, it nerf will be is basically what I'm getting. Okay, we'll continue in the mage large item department. Nerf. We're going to go on to Sounds Soul like Reaver next. Sounds like it's Bancroft's meta again, too. honestly. Is what the one people have been waiting for. Enemies that get hit by Soul Reaver's bonus damage will take 50% less, less damage from this effect on subsequent hits. This reduction lasts three seconds and refreshes on hit. Okay, so you're telling wow. me that if I spam my whole abilities on them in That's two seconds, only one nerf proc to is going to That's a huge nerf. For full damage. damage. Yes. And the yes. additional ones are 50% yep. wow. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Soul so Reaver was like doing some weird stuff. things uh, yeah. to the meta. Mm. It was working. The item was yeah. working very much as intended. It was doing yeah. bonus damage. It was encouraging some gods that it had doing more bonus damage. ways to proc damage on multiple abilities. Um, it was doing good damage against tanky characters. Yep. But it was doing a little bit of everything too well, so we wanted to make sure we got a clear nerf in here. And really what this is meant to do is um, bring back mages that have less damaging abilities to put them on more even footing than mm. over gods that have multiple. Run, one thing we really saw is that that really took over in Season 5. Yeah, one... If you only had two damaging abilities as a mage, you were mostly not played, mostly because of just how good Soul Reaver was. Um, and I mean, that makes sense. So I what mean, we're trying to do is make that Soul a little bit more widely applicable to all, all gods we and built it on try to get Soul Reaver back could. in its real intended spot, well, which is mostly is that counter tank bonus everybody. damage a type of uh, ability. We, we uh, do like even seeing it on some of the bruisery guardians. It'll that was be cool, but they're going to take a big hit from this too. Mm -hmm. A lot of the way they dealt the so much damage through Soul Reaver was really extended fights. And now they're going to be getting mostly 50% of that Soul Reaver proc most of the time. Okay, How well, that's going to be a change for Soul Reaver. We'll move along to Obsidian Shard next. It might, it might still be this very good. This going to be a bit of a change, too. Obsidian Shard is the, the major pen item, okay. realistically, for mages. Increasing Increased cost. cost from 2150 to 2300. However, even though it's got up in cost, yeah. it will go up in power a little bit. The power has been increased from 60 to 70. That's it. Gentlemen, reasons. So the big thing here was that it was just this one item that you could build in a lot of situations and it would be effective. And because of its cost, it really fit into a lot of mage builds pretty easily. There That's wasn't much nerf. of a reason not to go attempt to try These it. These are a lot of um, mage builds. So we're going to increase nerf, its cost so that when you go to invest in this pen nerf. option, you're really looking at it for what it does, which is shreds a lot of magic production. Oh, look at the map. Target. Look at the um, map. Because it is, is going anything to be different? more expensive, we want to make sure it didn't fall Why is there so many purples? It, it's Look at the map in the top right-hand kind of corner. Correlate. Why are there so we many purples? The cost up, which brought the opportunity of being able to build Why this is everything... down. We want to give a Why little bit more buff now? finding the situation to get this. Find is the, the gold area a purple buff? Automatic protection mm. off the target and reward you for it with a little bit more power as well. 
So in the long run clubs, you play a lot of majors. Like, yeah. do you think you'll be seeing this more so? Um, or is it going to be situational based on the country? We knew the gold fairy I think it's definitely going to be situational. Buff. We saw a lot of Spear of the Magus, buff? Soul Weaver, and Obsidian Chart all picked up together. Now, mm -hmm. uh, from what we're going to see here is that we don't actually have any Spear of the Magus changes, but we very much believe with the Book of Thoth uh, shift, with mm -hmm. the Obsidian Shard shift, as well as the Soul Weaver, pretty much straight out nerf, mm -hmm. we're, yeah. it's probably going to be in a good spot, nerf. but we're definitely going to evaluate the yeah. pen options. Mage is you know, definitely one thing we didn't do in Season 5 is really Sorry, increase their power alongside the other mage items when we nerfed Broad of Tootie. So we're going to keep our eye on these. And I think they all should be in a pretty viable spot still mm -hmm. so okay. some key nerfs so. for mage items in the most popular most high performing items without yeah. destroying the whole class as a but whole, we got to right? have That's a couple shifts stuff. in there correct and we're also targeting some really unpopular items like do more though is a cool item really unpurchased pretty much nobody bought that yeah. item all season a lot of things we're going to see the end and that's yeah. what we're about to get right, right about into now right, too. right 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 mage items right. to go typhon's fang oh. is the next one it's a lifesteal item for the most part they're Increased bopping magical it. lifesteal oh. From 10% to 15%. Okay. I didn't even know what it was when I was just reading out what it is. It doesn't seem like much, but the way this item synergizes with its buff. own lifesteal yeah. and converts yeah. it to power, yeah, this is, is a big buff. That is a big buff. So how do you, how, math guy, how much does this work out? So <laughs> this is, this, is it, this essentially reads 10 extra, um, 10 extra power That's and cool. like 7 point something percent lifesteal increase. Okay. So it's a little bit more than actually just what's listed there. So you can view this item as actually like if we have like two bullet points and they're more significant than what's just listed there. Gotcha. And this is a similar change to Book of Thoth. We want right. to encourage more synergy builds where mages are opting Tithons into different types thing. of items well, that combine I mean, together with well. With the Book of um, Thoth to nerf, I feel more. like as to Bancroft year, is going to come back items that were just good on everything. as pretty meta. Mm -hmm. And if Bancroft is Next meta... Up, Dynasty Plate Helm. The magical power of this item is increased. It was 45. It's now going to be 55. Okay. Um, we didn't see too much of cheap, it. Cheap Pretty much. Item. Item. I think yeah. we're going to see a bit more of it. A now. little bit. We yeah. want to be careful with this one. Yeah, absolutely. When was it season item. three that or four that this was like, you've got to build it yeah. every yeah. single absolutely. mage? Very we, we don't want to go back right to there. Okay. So we're trying to we're trying to take Small a little touches step. On this so one. this is like, one, for those at home that are newer to the game, this is one of those items that gives you power, but it also gives a bit of physical protection. Right. As well. Right. So we want mages to have a good option for if they're really nervous about that early jungle gank mm -hmm. or if you're playing non-conquest and your opponents have to you be a little bit loaded up on assassins or hunters and yeah. you want to make sure you don't fall behind right. too early this is a good option for that you're gonna you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of true end game power but it'd be worth it if you're not 0 and 6 that right? change doesn't yeah. matter then, much. you know you don't have to buy boots now so Won't be relevant i'm joking well, you <laughs> will buy boots late okay game, i've got images of everyone just like i don't buy boots i'll just get that 2k pot later well you know we we were worried about that option as well but we think it's pretty difficult with the cost someone yeah, will probably find is. a build path where it, it works but we'll I mean, we'll be paying attention to that that's true stone of binding is the final Magical item on my list this week. Oh, okay. Increased nice magical power of Stone of Binding from 20 to 30. Mm -hmm. However, it's got a oh. new passive. It's essentially the same passive. Oh, okay. Oh. So it sounds like <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. You just, you just okay. trick me into saying I'm these words. Just, and then I'm like, oh, this is so hard. Here, Successfully man. hitting an enemy god with crowd control will place a debuff on enemies here. Oh, because the old one used to be right. an AoE aura that would like pull something from around. We found right? this just to be very counterintuitive and actually that makes hurt more sense. the way Guardians wanted to use the that item. That makes more sense. Okay. Like, we wanted this item to be a way of, oh, I'm got a lockdown cool. or bruisery guardian. Yeah. Now, hey team, kill this guy. Or yeah. hey team, let's make a pull. So uh, uh, nice. let's make an aggressive play. Yep. So it used to buff your Stone whole team binding, just if went they're from nearby. Being but that a was some weird positioning elements like, and also just definitely. confusing and kind of backwards. Great so item now, to whoever like, you CC will also be, be debuffed. Maybe I mean, that's it. It's that target. Maybe the debuff is going to be decreased like, like physical and magical protections by 50. Cerberus and this a, item? Oh, right. So this is a considerable shift. Like you used to be able to buff your whole team. And now yep. it's only one enemy, but in a, in plenty of scenarios that could be similar types of targets. And now you can move this around between. Is, different this, is this definitely more of a buff than like the, what it used to be? Because obviously it used to give you pen for the team technically. I right? think for the situation, this is the same like, thing though. This is reduced protections on your enemy. Fair, fair. For yeah, like Geb, right. if he was going to blink engage, he mm -hmm. often would actually blink out of range of his allies. All to the time. Benefit. And then therefore the stone of binding would do nothing. In this case, it will still do at least something. So it, it works out we, well with like it. teams that are around you. More yeah, like it's got like a little it. power buff here to compensate for this change in overall. Um, application. I like it. But this should be much more intuitive and clear overall and should it's just feel better it's to good use. good change. Okay. Yeah. So that's it for the magical items. We'll move on now to uh, the next level, so, which is... Magical item changes. Yeah. They just got nerfed. Hunters, assassins, Guardians, and not really touched so much. Yep. I couldn't figure out. I, thought, I was like, yeah, there was oh three. Oh my god. Malice gets a new I'm just passive every other well. patch. <laughs> well, we're working we're on that. We're getting there. This year, we'll find out. This year is that year, maybe? We're trying. Gotta hope not. Malice! is the first item on the list today, and it's gonna have a new passive. 
I feel like I've been Number here since season five. one saying that every year. <laughs> every year. New passive for my <laughs> six. All right. This is changing it around a little bit. It's, it's been a lot of iterations, <laughs> but it's right, not right, quite yes. the same kind of passive it was before. Hitting an enemy with a critical strike will subtract two seconds from all of your abilities <laughs> currently on cooldown. Yes. That's strong. Except for your ultimate ability. Wow. This effect can only happen once every five seconds. Two seconds off your cooldown seems pretty strong. That it's is pretty good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. pretty strong. Like two seconds off for a hunter in some circumstances is the difference between life and death and having to escape back up again. Yep. That yeah. is interesting. Uh, especially even for like characters like um, Artemis, getting access to the stim more often is a really good deal. Um, getting access know. to your range poke is a good deal. I'm not thinking um, like so on this is just, it has a hunters for that. I'm where thinking like on certain kind assassins, of like a Sir Ket dude. You can get another item that will help she them do the thing they do better She dash crits you with some cooldown, and, I mean, and then her dash is back up again. Assassins. Mm -hmm. uh, and previously, we've tried to shoot one just onto like the Nedjaz or Hunmaster. They'll actually do very good in this game as well. That's gonna be annoying. They're gonna go in, they're gonna get that crit and reduce two seconds off their cooldowns. That's pretty scary. Malice has kind of always approached it from a... Ability Seems like a pretty situational item, like depending on the character mm -hmm. you're and playing. And we tried this like passive in a bunch of different ways. Certain characters, I don't know. It's pretty Not annoying. too successful. Malice has maybe been meta on Neja ever. Yeah. That's about it. Um, so we're trying to find a way that it can still be true to its goal, but so. be slightly more widely applicable. And, you know, we're okay with situational items, but, sure. you know, we generally don't prefer items that are actually only one god good. Also being different as well from the other critical That'll be interesting. Well, I guess yes. also an issue. Certainly not like a broken item, but it might. Yeah, right. than so with this being able to get you a quick refresh on, on another you know, core damage ability or stim or escape or but something like that, I don't think that, that take could that open up some really interesting new critical strike so. builds. Cool down on some of those gods hard to come by, so I can completely understand that mm -hmm. being useful. That's yeah. malice. Uh, we'll move along to another critical strike. I am Poison Star is on the list Ooh, here. Nerf, well, yeah. this will be a nerf, boys yeah. and girls. Increase the cost from 2,400 gold to 2,500 gold and also decrease the critical strike chance. It was 20%. It will now be 15%. This was a potent item yeah. we saw at the World Championships. It was picked mm -hmm. up a lot. And Everybody it picks up poison stars. It's too strong. Be used. It was Very. just the and passive is so good. And there was one key thing we noticed so. in it being picked up a lot was mm. that it was often being picked up without many other crit items. Yep. Players just were, that one-off. Yeah, players were even running power and kins builds and stuff like that and mixing in a poison star because yep. although the proc was a little unreliable at that point, getting it was still powerful. So that's why so we specifically powerful. targeted the crit chance to be decreased here. Wow. It's, so you need, it's a kind of going I don't along know with if the it's theme. Be, want people to make these hmm. builds that work well together and 25. have certain items that enable those builds to be even stronger and not just have things that it work. It may not even be worth it to order. build pros like RNG too. That's why they love yeah, right? yeah, right? yeah, You know, they don't like RNG. Now you need to build more of a real... Crit so, build to make this item work. Even with a full time, crit build, asking for more Wind Demon's looking pretty, they really like pretty Also, the 2400 now. price cost was, you know, was pretty low. So well, that's true. It's opinion. not the only item in that tree that's going to get a bit of a nerf this patch. Wind Demon's also going to join Never it mind. Patch. It was. <laughs> it's mind. getting a buff. It's getting a buff. <laughs> it was. I take it back. I did mean it. It's going to 2600. My apologies. Wind Demon gets a buff. It's coming down in cost, but the rest of the item is staying the same. Right. Is it because it just wasn't... Just a little shift here. Because we brought yeah. it... We, we, we it was a double show, just like, kidding. A just double JK. A well, we liked the messaging with Poison Star, but mm, we didn't yeah. want to necessarily increase crits overall build cost because okay. it's already very expensive. Mm -hmm. So we just have a little bit of a shift here. Just right. assuming a lot of people are going to buy multiple crit items. Wendy they're already really nice. expensive. We're making one real much nice. more expensive. And we intend you to build it with other ones. Okay. Let's make another option one cheaper. Just a little cheaper. Well, that's a couple of crit items. We'll move on to some more attack speed items. Now, Odysseus Bow is next on the list. Increased attack speed scaling on passive from 50% to 60 Wait, we're buffing Your this? chain lightning is yes. going to deal more damage. Oh, yep. 10% wow. increase. Because no one really uses this item. Oh, and it's a cool really? item. It has some, it has oh, some limited applications, but the, it was just that's that actually limited. A big buff. Um, with an extra scaling, it will help the extra, extra scale, scale better than any with a lot of builds that exist. You can go the raw attack speed to get many procs, or you can Late go the raw attack to make the procs count. Um, it's up to you, but yeah. an extra 10% is going to help. Because this certainly isn't a bad item. This is just a right? fun it's item. It's such a cool super meta, visual application, and you get that audio. You hear that. You, you buff just know Obo too much, and I worry about multiple hunter so metas because everybody's just chain lightning right each other like a team fight. That's actually what I was talking about. I was talking about with Pawn in Playtest just now is that I really, really love, well, we're getting to it in a second, the Silver Branch bow, the Odie bow, you know, the Atlantas, as well as throwing in a nice chin size in there. But it never felt like you just do that by itself. Buff with the speed elixir that's now yep, available, you can actually sell your boots and pick Increase up an item power. that helps the whole build synergize much better. Nice. The, the one thing about that speed thing we're going to keep coming back to, like now that you can have that extra slot, is which role is going to end up working out better throughout by having that extra slot. I feel like hunters might be going to be pushed. It might that. be hunters. It could be, especially hunters with six items instead of bows. 
Instead of, or instead we'll of see. boobs, man. We'll, we'll see. That's the experimental phase. <laughs> Clumsy just alluded to it. Silver branch blow. I feel like tanky blow? builds get worse with six hey. items. Uh, increased <laughs> physical damage power get from better. 20 to 30. <laughs> there she blows! That, that clumsy uh, A. <laughs> so silver branch got a bit of a power increase. Why? Was it just a little bit underutilized? Wasn't doing enough? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, go on. So the, the, the build itself is just fun. Being able to shoot really, really fast is really fun. But it, sure. when you did the math on it, when you tried it to sucks. figure out how it would work, even on characters that could yeah. make good use out of it, it just wasn't quite there. Yeah. Um, especially because when you first build it, you often don't have enough attack speed to utilize it effectively. Right. You're still building some options, and it's hard to build like to go this heavy attack speed op build without having um, like without it rounding out the damage. Mm. It's hard to be like, well, I could just build Odie Bow third and I go into an Aussie. Well, I didn't build any power. I'm going to be struggling a bit. So we increase its power okay. some so you can build it more in the in the middle stages of the build. It's effective as and put you too far behind. How much does it as cost? You get more and more attack speed to overcap. I mean, it becomes more and more effective. I wonder if it'll be we an saw okay a lot of power item penetration of builds this year. Mm -hmm. We want to like, see more crit builds with I don't more know, I don't viable know and more variation between them and we want to see more attack speed builds and more variation between them as well to be fair Hunters, like this year we saw majority of it was attack speed or pen builds but we saw some crit which was very different than previous years where we've always just had one cookie cutter build for the most part well right. you know that's great that's <laughs> great that we had a good variation in the hunter builds a hunter is generally one that people will find a way to make a popular build, oh, yeah, for sure but there's always these interesting items here on the edge that are just so close they might be able to make it and break through to the build <laughs> but we're not totally sure but that's why we're trying to make these a little more attractive and yeah. see how they can really shift them out. oboe though so that's a couple of attack speed items we'll move on to a little bit more nice. of the warrior assassin items you see a little bit more of we're gonna move on to runic shield is up next on the list and this is gonna get a bit of a buff increased okay. health it was 100 it's going to 150 uh, reasons for that, boys. That's fine. Yeah, so this is a strong warrior item or assassin who wants to be a bit more bruisery. It's already a decent um, it really situational item. With, 50 um, health is like, okay, whatever. Damage, it's still going to be a decent situational item. Boots to be mitigated from this or from a mage who's like just really ahead. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. when you looked at the cost for it versus how much health and total effective health it gave you and how much it mitigated, it was, it was on the border, but it wasn't quite there. So we're going to actually increase its health a little bit to make it compete more directly with other potential... Uh, anti-magical items too situational still st yeah. still situational still but situational. we want to reward don't say the what i say Ajax. it's not to the Come point up where it's with good your own words. Mm. but it's i mean that you aura reduces magical power by 50. it's, 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 it's potent it's, it's pretty yeah. good yeah you know mages in lane against you or guardians in lane against you yeah. and oh especially if it's an early game right? lane against you you can you can slow down their damage a lot so we like mm -hmm. that but it was just still feeling a little too squishy on most warriors well another bit of magical defense item next up on the list with a bit more effects and sealy or and chile or and on Kile. Whatever. Is the it's official it correct. And it's a made up word. And uh, no, it's a Roman true. shield. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> all Chile. words are made up. Hindu. They're all made I'm up. I'm pretty sure it's on Kile. You just offended people. It was. Sorry, it's an yeah. increasing lore, cost. My lore yeah, people have been all of the Romans. It's going to be 2150 now. This is going to yeah. up in price. This was just a clearly powerful. It was picked a lot. You know, it yes. was funny because this item took years to convince people that it was powerful. And then it was good. We finally did it, though. It's very good. A lot of people this year learned how good it is. It's a great hybrid item for We're like We're just going to make it a little bit more expensive mm -hmm. for you to get yeah. all that goodness. Like that Ratatasker, Sores, stuff like that. Definitely for an assassin. Like it's that. really good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> 2,000 really gold good. is so, so effective. It was ridiculous. I know, but yeah, people didn't believe us still. Yeah, just look at it now. Like 2150 is not all that more. It was you know? good It'll to see okay. this item finally catch on, though. We were really happy to see that because it's a really interesting item. And it It'll be fine. And it allows for interesting plays. It will be fine. Next up is the Cudgel Tree. Um, when I say the cudgel tree, it's because pretty much everything in it's that a bunch tree of is items. touched oh, yeah. here for the most oh, part. Wow. Yeah. So we'll start off with the cudgel. Increased okay. physical power from 5 to 10. Decreased health from 100 to 50. Okay. Identity <laughs> shifting a little bit there. Yep. Shilele, which is part of that tree. Decreased cost from 1,500 to 1,300. Increased physical power from 10 to 15. And then I guess it branches off into... Gold does it branch wow. off into two, that one? So that one only goes into no, black form. Yeah. Yep. Right. But what you're seeing here is a little bit of shift in increased power. Um, these items were positioned in a little bit too tanky of a way, right. um, which really hurt warriors in the early game. They need that clear, especially from the basic attack damage. Um, so what we're seeing here is a bit of shift on, and you're going to see this on I mean, Blackthorn and Runeforged as well. Okay. More physical power to bet this better fit Dude, on those Black early Thorns warrior kind of looking like a still going to be tanky from other ways. Two and then you see the Blackthorn hammer on your screen now. That's going to have increased physical power I mean, now that you can build into it easier because of the... 35. Wow. The passive, though, now transitions from cooldown reduction 
to mana regeneration at 25% mana, not 50%. I was going to say, 50% mana regeneration is pretty yeah, damn strong, so it's going to be a, a little bit Dude, weak. So Black Guard Hammers, this is when it triggers that from. So passive, when you right. add 50% to the threshold, so it's a 50-50 split, now it's a 75-25 split. That's a so huge buff. A little bit more often. You keep the yeah. cooldown a lot Black longer, Guard and then Hammer when you get low mana, you get that mana back really fast, but it doesn't take you up as high as you used Transitioning into it is easier. It's a really cool item, obviously. That item's getting picked up a lot now. But with these types of changes, it's it actually, I think it has a lot, a lot of interesting yeah, applications, but we'll we'll see what these changes. The Mostly a big quality of life, and then just that better yeah. power to make sure you can that build it early as a warrior. Up. Warriors have a lot of good tanky options, mm -hmm. but they're a little lacking in those hybrid or damaging options. And Runeforged Hammer was also in that tree. That's going to have an increased physical power from forty to fifty-five, wow. so that's a fifteen mm -hmm. power Ouch. increase, okay. and decreased health from fifteen power to two hundred. So you lose fifty health. health. And gain I'll take power. that trade. Correct. Once that's, again, so will warriors. Levels. That's a yeah. that's a, a shift in the positive trade. direction. Mm. Yes. There's a buff and a nerf there, but that's a big power buff for a pretty small health nerf. Yeah. Um, and that's mostly because, like I said, we can, warriors have a I lot of good Ajax options for tank, full tank me. items, but we want to make sure that when they buy that one or two aggressive items, they're not just buying one item from the mace tree, just one penetration item. We want to have more hybrid options to get that damage in different ways. A you lot of warriors have a way to actually self-apply CC so they can make use of the passive. Yeah. More physical power means that pass is more That'd be effective. Nice, they often have ways to already mitigate damage. So the 200 health is a nice boost, but it isn't necessarily like losing 50 power on that. Isn't it might just be easy. hammer time. So, this six. is the year, Pod. Runeforged Hammer. I, hammer it, time. I, I am convinced it was Rune already good, good. But I'm happy like, it's getting stronger. What? I'll take it. <laughs> we, people don't buy it. Players don't Correct. think it's good. We'll see. I think it's good now. That's what you said. Like We're the, whole, like, the whole philosophy uh -huh. is what people's opinions are. So just right. keep buffing it until they buy it. I'm all for the hammer build. Yeah, they're they're complain about it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll keep an eye on the on the true yeah. stats too. So it's still within a safe range. You all bored of items yet? Because we're not done. Okay, we're few not more. Yet. Just a few more. I just wanted to see if you wanted yeah, to. Like, come on, board. Man. Keep Next it up, uh, this is so much more exciting than yesterday. Most parties are generally like aura items of the likes where. More defensive, look at it that way. Uh, Gauntlet of Thebes, first one on the list, increased health from 200 that's to good. 275. It's I can back that call, I think it's good. Yep. Like, we've not seen too much Thebes as of late. Kind of takes a while It was stack. really designed as that, that core first item for, for supports. Yeah. You can only you stack this item by playing in the support it, style, which is really item. cool, but we wanted so to reward awkward. you with extra tankiness for doing that. That was a great idea design that we worked with the pros in the community mm -hmm. to make happen. It went through a couple of iterations on balance. It was too strong, too weak, etc. It kind of just settled out of the meta for a while. Mm. Um, and people were okay with that for a while, but now as we're looking at the new season, ways to make the support class feel better, mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure this item felt good to I still buy don't know how and didn't punish you too to hard like for buying it and then taking a little too long to stack item. it. So that's why we went ahead and it kind of fell into the meta as like a later game item, item, honestly. Next up is going to be the health tree, Emerald Talisman, first of all. That's going to have increased Ooh. MP5 from 6 to 10. So a little bit that's more money from that. That's and the tier 2. Is it the tier two? Yeah, yes. it is. And sort yeah. of Gaia, which is the tier three right. of that tree, uh, increased the speed at which the heal occurs from 10 seconds to five. Se Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. And oh, decreased the internal cooldown from 60 to 45. So sort of Gaia was buff. like an item that got changed and had its passive adjusted a couple of times. Yeah. Okay. Just a really good regen item. So now then you it had this effect the passive, of being able to heals you twice as deal fast with than it used and, like, to. Keep you in the fight longer, but it was almost too potent. So we, right. we, we nerfed it, but I think we nerfed it too hard. And now you're bringing okay. it back up. Well, it was making you immune to knockups. That was when That's it was a little a too decent. strong. Yeah. yeah, so we took that <laughs> yeah. out. We took that out. Um, but then Mages maybe the item fell down a little too far. Warriors we also wanted to make the item the feel meta. better to build into. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's why the tier two got a little buff there. Um, the but now the tier yeah. three also, Warrior um, Mages, it's still a counterplay season. item. You can still get it triggered and heal yourself up. And now you're going to feel that heal a lot more because it's going to be twice map. as fast. Else I'm um, so you map. still pick this up against knockup characters, which are, uh, that's a CC that's generally hard to play against. Yeah, I don't so see still the have solo this camp over there. So you still against like Anher and Pale, Ares, Pole, and things like that too. I don't Bacchus, see it on that map. You can't get CC Vulcan. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't see no Plenty camp over there. Yep. I like this health tree. I like health tree, so it's nice that it's coming back into fashion yep. again. There you go. Oh, oh speaking of... In the health tree is next on the list. Decreased cost, first of all, it was 2100 gold, now will be only 2000 gold. And it's also going to have increased HP 5, it was 10, it will be now 15. Okay. Same for the MP 5, that was 10, and it'll be 15 too. So this is just getting stronger overall okay. and a little yeah. bit cheaper. Herkin Chalk say hi. They're going to have some fun with this oh, item. Boy. And there was uh, some Thanatos as well with that. Pretty yeah. decent no, buff to really uh, strong. regrow. Yeah. So we just wanted to make sure those Speed stats felt a little bit better and the cost was easy to get into. This don't item even has need really boost. high potential if you Here get it early come. and really use that passive. Yep. So. Yeah, it's all about the yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. And also, while it may not have been you know, 
seen in, in slime light in conquest it's also really good in some of the other game modes so we wanted to be careful with that one because in mm. an arena it's mu it's much more popular than it is in conquest oh, yeah mobility is always important in every game mode I'll tell that's you that true much. spectral armor is the oh, next yeah. one on the list from the old classes tree increased physical protection from 60 yeah, to 70 and it decreased does. the damage dealt to you from critical strikes from 60 percent to 50 percent what we through this change it's a 10 power or 10 pr protection buff and a 10 yep. percent crit reduction buff two buffs so it's two buffs yeah the item oh, okay. was i thought that was a nerf for a positioned second. as a cr anti-crit right buff. yes okay. um but most people were even if they're facing the down crit, someone heavily crit Got based it. they were still like i think i'd rather just opt for other physical okay. That's a pretty items yeah. yeah so we're trying to make this more clear it's still going to be very situational we don't expect to see this that's increase a pretty decent anti-crit item to a crazy now, high level because sure. it's a very situational item pretty decent. But it's a very important item it's an, a type of item that the player base asked for for years they want this crit protection just mm -hmm. in case things I, get out of hand i actually appreciate that especially because you guys have just bought I mean, the crit items exactly. too so right. like at least you're looking at the other Poison side of the like, well, hang on a second Spectral armor get maybe the, the other guys and just as a core pillar of item balance we've added some more of these kind of regulation items in there that don't necessarily need to be super popular or super powerful but they exist Exist, and that helps us if the meta shifts to an unhealthy place gotcha. where things are way overly tanky or crit is way overly strong. We, we have some of these <laughs> items already in the game that are situationally good in those scenarios to bring people down without even additional buffs or changes needed. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, as something else's popularity increases, the counter to that will popularity will increase and then we'll ebb and flow that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's it for the all classes stuff. Although masks, once upon a time, they were all classes, but then they got adjusted. They're yeah. all classes, but in different ways. Right? Yeah, <laughs> the masks tree is going to get a little bit of okay. love or attention is what I should really say here. Lodo's oh, mask, gosh. the first one on the list, increased damage dealt from minus 20% to minus 25%. So that's, well, going to reduce the amount of damage you do. 5% nerf. And increase okay. healing done from minus 20% to minus 25 We nerfed it overall more. Correct. Just a little nerf to both so of those uh, downsides. Nerfed. We're increasing the downsides. This okay. was clearly the oh, most Rango's powerful and most buffed. popular of the masks. We saw this become the world's meta item yes. with the Fenrir support. Mm -hmm. Sure. So we, we like how it's this is being used. It's cool that people are flexing supports. classes into Guardians, but this one was a little bit too strong and too flexible. Mm -hmm. Just making sure that downside is a little stronger. That's fair. Nothing else changed okay. about that. Rangdar's mask is the next one on the list. And that's going to be increased ability damage dealt from 15% to 20%. Okay. This means that both basic attack and ability damage are increased at the same amount. So the description will be simplified to just say increased damage dealt. Right. Yeah. We had one, we had two lines for yeah. a bit basic and ability, but now they're both 20. So that just so says that increased easier. damage dealt by plus 20. Yeah. And so, so that should be This really one was not buff. very popular at all this year. No, not at all. Risky. Only can yeah. pick it up Still on. very risky, yeah. but we want to make sure that that class shift type of goal is still here. And there's like some, I really think this item has potential. And, stuff, and I think the people who have found a build for it, and even if it's just something fun they play with their friends oh, or only in certain game modes, it is really cool. We've so. seen you play it with Bacchus. We know how <laughs> much it hurts. They've seen me play the uh, arena or clash uh, or joust random They might get Bacchus. more play oh, now it's that it's assassin Bacchus. It's amazing. Well, the last item. That we're going to talk about aren't in, the end in this game. little section is going to be Bomber's Mask, the Fire really Mask, would you believe? Popularity. Increase the physical we'll power see. of this item from 20 to 30, and increase the magical power of this item from 50 to 65. So just a straight, just buff, a straight buff, uh, buff if you're going to yep. pick this up, right? Yeah, this one was um, popular for a little while. We nerfed it. Now we're trying to bring it back up to a safer spot, but we're watching out for that very dangerous bonus movement speed. So mm. we did not going to buff it there. Unlikely that that'll be a place we'll be looking to in the future. Uh, we mm -hmm. saw it mostly on junglers for a little while, right, Paul? Yeah, yeah. boom was so uh, broken for so rotating. long. Wow, we're really effective yeah. with it. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the cooldown reduction, I think, was at 20%. And for, for a catch-all at 20%, oh, that's right, that too. way yeah. too high. Morgan oh, was sure. making very good use of it, so, so we wanted should... to touch its power instead. Right, right. So make it more usable, but at the same time, don't increase the movement and they'll cool down, right? Because yeah. they're both two things. The masks are just cool really items, shy. but they are scary, so we're going to be careful with them. So that was all the items so far that we've gone through. We've okay, still yeah. got today to go through gods and changes to conquest maps specifically. But in the meantime, first of all, we're going to take a quick break Aww. and go to John Fitch to bring down some of the esports and community news. Sure, why not? Nice little break. Hey, great job hey, the over there today. on the casual set. But over here, Score. we're going to be taking a look at the esports side of things. Finch here, I'm joined by Avrin, our community manager. We also have Coop here. 
who does all our league ops. I assume you both are doing well here today because there's a lot to look forward to. How y'all feeling? Feeling good. I'm mm -hmm. excited for season six. Cooper, feeling good, yeah? Yeah, everything's running pretty smooth so far, so uh, really looking forward to the changes. And we've made some big changes here, so I mean, if you can kind of walk us through it, if you're someone who hasn't been maybe keeping up with like some of the stuff on Twitter, on the website, gonna do any just kind of walk through how so. season six is it. different from what we did in season three. That was it. The item yeah, changes, so, apparently. Uh, it, it might even be easier to go through what's uh, not changed. <laughs> right. um, so, uh, so season six, uh, we're kind of revamping across the board everything. Mm -hmm. um, the SPL, for starters, will be uh, everything is going to be played uh, live here at Skillshot. Um, right. So that, that's the first biggest change. We're going to have all the, the pro players actually out here live for their games. Um, a lot of them will be actually relocating to Atlanta uh, for the new season. So Poor we're super European excited players. about that. Um, Everybody the, wave goodbye uh, to Yemen and all of them. Uh, is uh, we're going friends. from 10 orgs down to, Bye, or I'm sorry, from 12 orgs down, down to 10. 10 yeah. um, so uh, there's, you know, we kind of looked at the competition uh, last year and it wasn't at the bottom end quite where we wanted it. <laughs> um, I think this should, uh, you know, fix that. Um, and uh, you know, make make that uh, competition a little bit better overall. And we added some really big orgs. I mean, we got Pittsburgh. NA ranks is gonna now. be fire. Oh, yeah. That's with, true. With the Steelers, you know, fire. Renegades are over here, which, which we've worked with in some other areas too. I mean, there's a lot to be excited for just in the types of orgs and, and sort of what they bring to the table as well. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about the Knights. Yeah. Uh, I've spent a good lot roster, of time. Good roster, good org. It's all oh yeah, good. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time talking to those guys. They are so excited to be on the battleground, man. Yeah. I'm really excited to have them. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of, of the roster, I mean, obviously if you wanna check out those rosters, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they're all on the website and mm -hmm. on our Twitter. Or you um, can use exclamation point rosters in chat. That there you too. go. There you go. Oh, but it top. doesn't um, work in you know, our chat. It's also chat. important to note that I we've promise. also removed the region lock for, yeah. for this yep. season. <laughs> so um, a lot of your favorite players, you know, you used to just be able to see now, European players there goes the chat on, experience. international in general on international rosters. Um, now you're able to see, uh, you know, uh, Zatman with an with, uh, uh, EU player and um, really get a different flavor of, yeah. uh, of competition. So, and it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. If you kind of missed it, there are still <laughs> some that, that stayed, coming. You know, there was the no same. way like to Splice stop it. Is still all in a Pittsburgh Knights. I think uh, is all EU. But then there are some other teams that are kind of mixed up. I think Rivals, yeah. one of those orgs, <laughs> where we got some from both sides. So if you have some teams you're fans of, maybe they're the same. Maybe you get to see some stuff you've never seen. It's it's a, it's a yeah. best of both worlds. Scenario. You get to keep a little bit of the NA EU rivalry, but it's <laughs> right. not like the true dividing line mm -hmm. of the SPL anymore, which yeah. is which is great. And we, we did some improvements is on the great? SPL side of things, which I, and I think that that is how those are going to come out Taking to be. But we've also helped out some with the SML. Great. That's getting marketing. changed up a little bit, too. Can you tell me some of the, the changes on just how that's going? Yeah, so the SML was, it, it's kind of been our big sticking point of how do we get the amateur scene kind of growing uh, and, and to a point that we feel comfortable it can develop talent for the future. Right. And uh, it's important to note it's a work in progress. We're still not done. Um, but two of the big changes that we're making is one, uh, we wanted a minimum salary for those players competing. Right. Um, so all the players in the SML will be receiving a $10,000 minimum salary, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, well and above what they've earned last year um, towards the low like and middle end. Uh, and the second there. is that we've actually uh, done a similar vetting process uh, similar to the SPL for the organizations in the SML. Right. Uh, so we're, we're working with some really great partners at the lower level to make sure that that scene's a little bit more stable um, and that they're, uh, you know, they're really putting forth the commitment that we may not have seen in the past. And it's exciting, I would say, I, I, like as, from the community engagement side, Auburn, because we're going to have all these players here like all the time now, right? Some of the people that you really like, you get to hear more from yeah. them. We were just SSG sitting with some of the pros out there yeah. in the area, and I assume that'll be happening so much more. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what kind of stuff, I guess, are we going to be able to do more of now with, with the way Season 6 is looking? Just more content, you yeah. know? Like, when they're here, especially our EU players, you know, you always kind of get the short end of the stick. You're, you're out yeah. wherever you are. Are and we can't we can't do a lot with them so when they're here on such a consistent basis the amount of content we're gonna be able to put out you know we got video content interviews you know we've been in a lot of meetings planning <laughs> some really good stuff right. um yeah item I, changes I I weren't crazy right now, they were not crazy some good like stuff to, coming. yeah Honestly, i'd like, like to keep like, my job was pretty yeah, nice. there's a lot of good a lot <laughs> of good like, stuff coming up um and and cooper this even patch like the way that feels gone, a lot right? more like so far to me the, like the a mid-season well. patch so and like not a new all season. the games are i don't know if anybody else is not feeling like that, that way spring split kind of slump that we sometimes i'm not gonna yeah. lie so so we've kind of talked about each league's big throw out and, and anything yet but uh, kind of coming to both leagues is mm -hmm. Um, I'm not gonna like you know, say totally, to but for me, season. right so right. far, so, uh, I'm feeling uh, like this is a mid-season mix-up, not a new uh, season. One, no new items uh, that they announced. Not taking away uh, any items. Uh, 
Um, and again, all those games will count uh, throughout the year, and uh, this kind of puts a little bit more emphasis on the players. Because I to, like uh, to really more crazy changes compared to last. Sure that, I mean, uh, the boots the change is a crazy change. I would say that's the only crazy right. change. Yeah, all of it's gonna, the gonna boots matter. Pot from that first day is a crazy that, that change out there that will one, definitely you know, affect so who's late gonna be able to get that stuff to matter. And I mean, I, know, I guess we can't go too much in the specifics, but that's it, it the really only meta change for us to help you all get to know these players better. So far. you know, some of it on the serious side, some of it even on the more silly side. I oh, think the memes are going to be so real. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, you, you'll get to, you'll get to see so much more from these players than ever before. So I mean, Coop, we kind of went through through a lot of the stuff here on this esports side. Is there anything more that you want to touch on or let people know? Maybe if they are big big fans or don't watch as much. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I think two things. One, uh, we, we didn't touch too much on console. Yeah. Um, I think console, uh, you know, is, is obviously still on our radar. We're going through some planning stages on that still. Um, some very big changes coming there just in terms of the way that the format's going to run for next season as well as just overall making it a little bit more of a stable league similar to the SML. Uh, and two, you know, I, I really want uh, all the fans to just – it's a big change. We yeah. know that across the leagues. It's It's a very large change, and – um, we are going to make some mistakes a along the way. We know that. We've already made some, and and we've definitely corrected those. But um, if everybody could just, you know, provide their feedback, continue to hit up myself, the casters, uh, you know, all of you over there, uh, we'd love to hear your feedback and uh, continue to make this a really great league. Yeah, does anyone ever hit you up, Auburn? Anyone ever, like, everybody hits any... me up all the time. <laughs> you should see my DMs. Like, they find me on social platforms I forgot I had. Yeah, like, they'll, they'll I get find people, like, you. in my LinkedIn, MySpace? like, hey, codes, <laughs> codes, please. Um, the other thing I want to mention, because I've gotten a lot of questions about mm -hmm. it, SML rosters. Right. I'm not announcing them yet. You're going to have to wait. Uh, free yeah. agency has a couple more weeks left to go. Um, but you can expect a roster announcement for the SML sometime in February. And I expect those to be spicy too. You know, there's, there's oh, a lot be of so good spicy. Players, yeah. a lot of good players down mm -hmm. in the SML there you go. February, that we're going to chance to see like from that. in that area. And I know that there were some changes to like the way we did global series from last year, right? But the door is open for those players, I think, to still play in the minor league here as well. Right? Absolutely, yeah. The region lock uh, is is gone for the SML as well. So yeah. those uh, Latin America and Brazil players, OCE, SEA, are the regions we support in the past. Yeah. That will still thing. continue to support those players if they want to compete in the SML. Um, and but then they would have know, throughout to, the year, we may have some other competitions for them to compete in too. So they can't um, really go because they'd have to play to. NA right, well, I want to get it back over SML. to back over to the they other team. They got really some more they want to talk to on some of these notes before like we go back play over. From Any more closing thoughts? I guess you guys want to let these guys know about Cooper first if there's anything more you want to SML. Uh, I guess add that we haven't covered. I, I don't think so. A, I think everything's good. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm really looking forward to the season. The players are all excited. Everybody excuse. here is really excited for the just changes. Just come play SML. Uh, we'll have oh, news yeah. on uh, some preseason, uh, you know, just kind of what we're doing there and, and start of the season schedule, uh, hopefully in the next couple of days here. But um, yeah, just really looking forward to it. Yep, me too. Okay, anything? Very excited. No, I think we covered it all. <laughs> yeah. We went through pretty thorough. So if, yeah. you're not, if you're not big fans of it, make sure you check it out. All this stuff's gonna be happening right okay. here on Mixer. So Onward just get right to the God the changes, action. folks. That's gonna be kicking Onward. off. We'll get it back over to Hindu and the rest of them Forward. for some more stuff on the balance March. changes in season here six. Here we go, okay. And we're back on the casual circle. You could hear AJ in the background. Then uh, apologies, he's showing off his they, socks. Uh, I got bears cool. on him today. What, what is with you and showing off your socks on? Because I got cool socks. He's really proud of them. Look, they got bears on him today. Every day we get a daily report. Yesterday was cats. Today was bears. Oh, I stepped it's on like something too. It's like one of the too. most oh, pointless things to get stylistic about because what, you never socks? see them. Yeah, I mean you're seeing them right now. Okay. All right, let's get to God balance. Let's do it. Welcome back to the set. We're going to be moving on to God balance next. All right. There's over 20% of the gods, I said that earlier on, <laughs> involved in this. We're going to start off wow. with uh, a leak that Ponpon gave us. Ponpon, why don't you take Warrior this <laughs> Yes, so I, I, we tweeted out the, um, the yeah. spoiler. What a great All spoiler, Warriors Pon. have gained. And then that was just great because everyone was trying to figure out what they Base gained. What did, all like the weight, they just gained the weight. They had the gained weight? <laughs> yeah, they, they were <laughs> fitness. It was, it was all size. Incredible. So instead, it's, it's going to be size. health. So they're getting a wow. across the board 10 HP at the start of the game, as well as they're getting yeah, an additional incredible. three per level, which is a total of 60 throughout the whole game. Um, and this is really just to make the warrior class more defined and distinct as kind of these bruisers. Right. Uh, a lot of their stats got really close to Massive assassins buff, in a lot of ways, and they are quite Massive. far away from guardians. They really right. should have that kind of middle ground between the two, and overall they just weren't there. So we're boosting their base HP amount, we're boosting their HP per level. So newer players, for example, just so they understand it as well, mm -hmm. do more warriors have the same health pools and things, or is it like this is 10 on top of what their current is? Right, they are not. They do not have the same health Right. Pool. So our classes and might have general <laughs> guidelines for what their health, mana, etc., yeah. protections are. 
movement speed, mm -hmm. power, but each god differs. Okay. So in this way, we are adding 10 to all warriors. What we did notice is the entire warrior health pool was mm -hmm. a little closer to assassins, not as close to guardians. We're moving into that more clear area directly in between the two. Yep. Because warriors as are either our physical tanks or our tanky melee DPS class. Yeah. Um, they are a hybrid class by nature, but we're trying to make that a little bit more specific that they're in, that their tankiness is an intended part of them. You guys are scary with this shit, because like we get we've had a couple of mage item changes. So we might see some more warrior so, supports too. Warrior buffs already. Yeah. They keep buffing a little bit of warrior here, a little bit of warrior there. Okay, all right. We're, 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 we're Don't forget everything. about that gauntlet of Thebes buff. I know. Yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we will see. Amos and Cobb is going to be the very first god, and hopefully Ooh. these are in alphabetical order. I don't know if Pom Pom was involved in it. If he was, it probably is. They're isn't. in alphabetical order. They're pretty did, good. I actually remember distinctly organizing them. Did you? I believe you. Just in case. All right. No, he did. I see his Swarm, first of all, for AMC. Decreased cooldown of visibility. It was 16 down to 12. He's now going to be 15 down so to 11. Second, so that'll be up more often. And Honey okay. decreased mana cost. It was 75 to 95. It's going to be 60 at Ooh. all ranks. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. That's so Ooh. Amuz and Cobb is a very risky on, but high it. damage hunter in Smite. That's actually um, Doesn't have a lot of mobility, just some cost. speed, which can be strong. But, you know, it's more strong for rotations and mm -hmm. things like that, less from just simple escapes. So we, Honestly, he is a damage dealer. Honey and we're just trying to give him a little bit more quality of life here. In a yeah, second nerf faster cooldown on his main lane clear ability. And Honey, which is kind of his combo ability, yeah. which we've been looking at a lot of that for a few other gods throughout the year. Uh, these combo abilities that don't do a lot on their own but are really, really highly mana costed. Um, so that should help Muzinkov be able to unload his abilities in more comfortable. Definitely helps a little bit as well. If you're going to reduce the cooldown of Swarm, for example, you're going to spam that more often, which right. means you're going to run out of mana. But if your Honey costs less then you're gonna be okay still yep win win for amc he really fell out of favor this year too by the way although he was he a started from. he was an all-star in season AMC's four better yeah. season five he pretty much he straight up disappeared and we largely reverted the things that at least that the yeah, we, did. we nerfed yep. him yeah. he fell off and then we brought back pretty much all of that mm. and he still was uh, so underperforming the meta dictates Give that AMC he needs try. more buffs maybe Therefore, season six is his them. year we'll don't find miss out. your stinger anubis another god that we don't see too much of at the competitive level but he still can be potent, and with the right hands now, Ooh, you can too, because your CC ability to modify will rank increase one. the duration of the stun this year. Wow. 1.2 to 2 seconds it was. It's now going to be 1.6 to 2 seconds. So increase. early game, this is going to be a much more impactful. Wow. Right. So um, actually, a lot of experienced Nubus players will useless. opt to rank up the Mummify as their second most important skill. Uh, generally after Some the more control yeah. right just because it helps his combo potential of being able to, to get that rap three four killing mm -hmm. people um, So you would have to rank that up But now you'll be able to actually make better combo plays with just the rank one mummify You won't mm -hmm. be forced yeah, into you doing don't really that. need to rank you can it still up do it anymore. if you want to try some more controlling strats But I think you also get cooldown reduction per rank you do and that's a big yeah. that's a big bonus to ranking this ability There's still plenty of reasons Book to rank this ability nerf, early, but I feel like we felt like it was a little buff, too forced Also, just the Nubis has been a little bit struggling to get mm -hmm. to break into the higher Gooby levels in competition um, We wanted to give him a buff saying, that synergized well with it, his kit, but wasn't going to necessarily Not break looking him. bad for the old goob, sir. Anubis, it's a pretty how, good buff. Well, he's also got Typhon's Fang and things too. So I'm very know. excited yep. about true, true. You never know. in season six. Al Kwong is next on the list. Yes, we're still in the A's. <laughs> Al Kwong, Dragon's oh, King gosh. Sword, passive. Is this a change passive? Or it's a new passive. It's a, a new, new passive. passive. Well, according to our community, his old passive wasn't a passive and didn't meet our criteria. And that was true. <laughs> yep. Um, they called us out, and we admitted it, and we changed it. Correct. Cool. Correct. Okay. Dragon's King Sword, then passive. Every 20 seconds, Alquan gets a stack. As long as he has a stack, his next non-ultimate ability that deals damage to an enemy god will consume a stack to have its cooldown reduced by two seconds and heals Alquan for 5% of his maximum health. Right. Okay. Successfully executing an enemy god with King of the Eastern Seas will fully charge Dragon King's Sword this effect can stack up to three times. So he's got some sustain in this kit. Really, yeah. we wanted to... Ooh. So he had just more power and lifesteal. Yeah. And it was wow. too directly linked so, to his ultimate. So what we wanted to do was cool down give Quang, huh? a little bit more um, sustain power and I guess um, multi-engage and cool down. Right, exactly. Recommit and, power. Oh, well. I mean, we're I recommit. Sense. Yeah, that's a good way to yeah, describe since it. Since we're getting rid of a lifesteal as well from the old pass, we wanted to at least keep the heal. Okay. So keep that components of it because we definitely like that play style. And we're going to be using the same uh, UI element as well. Okay. He's getting those three charges every 20 seconds. We're using the sword as we did previously. So what you'll hopefully see now is Alquang being able to 
dive in on a team, unload with a few abilities, reset some of his cooldowns, and then while he's in that stealth phase, still, uh, look for another venue to attack him. be good. Or if he gets an execute, it will reset all of them, and he can actually go right back in. It's a little bit different, but also yes, kind of similar. Stalkwang has always been one of those gods that can feast off famine, I feel like. I don't think it's going to change and, uh, him that much. Maybe he'll much. feast a little bit more. He's now. already we'll super we strong. Will see. The next change on the list, however, for all you support players extra. out there. Oh. Uh, yes, oh, this is great. I'm yeah. so excited oh, for this one. Dear. Oh, I'm excited too. As you can see on the screen, Chug. Whoa. Chug is now available Whoa. at level one and has a rank zero. So you're going to get this right at the start of the game for free. The rank zero does not provide any of the protections that Chug would give you, but it does cost 35 mana still. Chuck now provides 40% Drunko meter at all ranks. This is wow. a monstrous buff. Now, well, it's mainly just a quality of life thing. You didn't even really feel like you were playing wow. Bacchus in Conquest in the early game because you couldn't do the Bacchus thing. So you, you rely on the Chuck to get your, the, well, this slow and your second ability, the belly flop, right. which a lot of people still don't know has a slow effect mm -hmm. on it. Okay. And the belch, which obviously it never stunned unless you And Bacchus is back, ladies and gentlemen. And percent damage yep. mitigations from his passive. This is yep. going to make Bacchus this early game much stronger Thanks. and so it's still gonna cost mana <laughs> so and you you're still, still you're get not gonna all get of that, the bonuses um, short term from protection your that he gets for you ranking just up. don't mm -hmm. get the chug, actual chug but stuff. it's gonna give him a whole like, lot when more you get smashed you get oh come on options that are okay. one of our unique magical assassins oh come on don't you lag right now not right now uh, there you go maybe bacchus could also be <laughs> Another magical I mean, assassin we see in season guys, six. Technically, he now has a wave clear ability and a stun okay, level. That's why I kept the right. Twitch so he open, should be much better in the duel lane. But I'd like guys. to see this guy take a jungle this. a few games Watch and see this. how it goes. We may see the change. little fat man there uh, swing to the solo lane too potentially. Oh, true, true. Yeah, so. I've heard of that before. Especially jungling, I knew it would happen. Chug it all pretty much. One of their streaming services always starts to die. It really was just an awkward ability for the ready to go. Belly flop or something in those in those modes too, so it could sure. it could make it very strong. Ready to go. Damage, because... Mostly gonna affect his early game here. <laughs> Incon has watched a lot of patch notes. For the Bacchus, we'll see how that works and out. He knows Moving that. Moving on to the next one in the time B time, category. Time one Bass streaming service of theirs on the list. Out. Razor Whip increased physical power scaling from twenty percent to twenty five percent. Declaw, however, decreased mana cost from seventy to ninety. Will now be sixty at all ranks. I oh, guess that's very similar okay. in line to what we did earlier on with AMC. Buff. Uh, buffs for Basta overall. Yeah, so this is actually a 20% scaling increase on Razor Whip because it ticks four times. Oh, so you're getting a significant increase in damage, yeah, but this is really buff. to help her compete with other assassins, both in terms of the actual damage potential because um, where she she doesn't necessarily have the same burst level, the, the dot has to tick over time. It has to have the damage come out over time, which just makes it a little bit weaker than the ability that just did that damage immediately. So making sure that it keeps up with those a types lot of abilities these as well as decline. Man, on a decent. lower mana cost, so you can like, utilize it more effectively. It helps you be a bit more aggressive when you go to game. You can actually use decal without worrying about being boom for your next jungle camp clear. Um, overall, just fairly... really nice quality of life buffs for Bastet. Well, I mean, more those, those are relevant buffs. Buffs. Real buffs. You know? Absolute buffs. I mean, we did the cooldown reduction buff last time, and we definitely saw you yeah. know a lot of the community Bastet's sort of been getting a little bit a here, buff. a little bit there. Bastet's one of the assassins who really wants to go all in with all of her abilities when she's ganking, and that really requires a lot of mana usage. So I think this is really going to help her out. Next on the list then, staying in the B category. Yeah, we're still going to keep going. Baron Samadhi next on the list, and he's going to take some nerfs this patch. Man, decreased more nerfs on consigned spirits. Decreased bonus healing based on missing health from 12.5% to 10%. And life of the party. Decreased total health damage from 15% to 10%. Baron, since release, has been in an interesting Oof. spot overall. And like, there's been some he adjustments doesn't really to get picked that much for in and out of meta a little bit. But I guess level. you're telling me his sustain is just a little bit too potent. At all well, looking on at top the, of like mage item like nerds, the discussion we had earlier, his pick and ban rate is, is really, really high. Not only that, statistically, he's doing quite well. Um, right. so, multi roles too. Yeah, in multiple roles, he can go mid, he, he can go solo, he can high go support. Level rank and he's just a character that nerfs. had that kind of high he frustration. He felt a little bit overwhelming. Baron is the new Capri. Baron is the new That's actually a great comparison. Um, we just felt that he was a bit too effective at both healing his team, especially when they got super low, as well as finishing off targets with that ultimate. Um, not only are you pulling someone out of position, you're stunning them in place, you're getting max hysteria on them, but the damage on top of that was pushing it a bit overboard. And so we're toning back both those factors right. that scale off the maximum health. There's one key similarity between these two bullet points. They are true percent health damage scalers. Mm. Yeah. So Baron's build does not affect them. 
Right. That's a key thing we noticed that Baron was being was these both of these effects were very strong whether or not he was squishy tanky. or tanky or yeah. vice versa. Mm -hmm. And he's mostly shown up in the highest levels of play as a actually more tanky character as a, yeah, as yeah. a solo laner even. So what we're doing is nerfing okay. here. This is going to nerf his solo lane a little bit more. Yep. Um, specifically, these things that now Baron's Between really going to decide if he wants to be more squishy, that, or more like, tanky. He can't just rely on these things to be I don't think you're going to see Baron over the, the solo lane anymore, They'll just be you know? okay all the time. Bellona is the next one on the list. And Bellona's Eagles Rally. Increase base damage from 100 to 500. He's now going to be 140 to 500. So same late game, late game still the same old Bellona early. Eagles Rally. Early game, this is getting okay. a bit more of a buff in terms of damage. 40 damage is so we're buffing a lot of all of the ones, but a couple of them are getting buffed individually Ooh. as well. Who the ones who've fallen off especially hard this okay. year, okay? Right, um, Bellona, generally a popular dog, okay? This year was rough for her, really, yeah, never yeah. So have even, yeah, even play count was and you know, further down, yeah, yeah, win rate and ban rate as well. So, what we wanted to do here is look at her early game engage. Um, this skill is very strong especially if you can land it and mm -hmm. make big play off it. Want to make sure she has that chance to swing those fights with this big ability. Yep. And That's the fine. Too. Mm -hmm. So it has a lot of additional effects, which are good for team fights and things like that. But the rank one damage, like that's really low for ultimate damage. Sure. Yeah. Really low. It's Even almost with the a buff, hammer swing. It's still really low. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we wanted to buff that just to increase her but overall damage. It's got all the things like the aura around yeah. it. But it's got a stun yeah. and the aura I mean, and other things. So yeah, we didn't buff this up to normal ultimate stuff. damage, that's but fair. it's somewhere more in between. Yeah. Right. Kabraken, next on the list, is Ooh. Tectonic Shift for Kabraken. <laughs> Expanded okay. the hit area of this ability to damage all gods in the entire rectangle shape in front of Kabraken. This area is as wide as his walls area is now. Whoa. Extended the Kabraken oh. up to the range of the walls. Extending from Kabraken up to the range okay. of the walls. It's hard to write. So basically, <laughs> okay. basically, basically yes. what you guys need to know rectangle. is beforehand, like when you altered with this ability, it didn't catch the whole area that it shows that it looks like it catches. So pretty but now decent. It does, it was area a strange of marrow line T shape yeah. or whatever. Yeah, it was actually just a line. I mean, I, we even had the arguments because I mean, well, everybody argues well. about it. We I thought it was like a rectangle, and then the very end was you know another rectangle. Well, the targeter that was highlighted it. Yeah, but so now you can see here it's thing. just the whole rectangle. So it shows much clearer whether That's, or not you're going to hit somebody and deal damage. It's definitely a buff because right. it makes it way easier to hit. The width and the range of the walls. We have everyone in between. We've updated the effects on all skins for the crack as well to make sure it shows the right area. Those on the ground, even on the side. Any of these actually, meta I, like, so I, I think there's actually a bug because when I was looking back. in live for this, I didn't actually see any cracks from like his very earliest video. So I think the the effects actually never showed for Kabrakin's ulti in the network mode. So now it's in and now it's working perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, it's so, a bug still, so, which is, so it's technically a buff and a quality of life at the same time. Yeah. It's a pretty big buff. You know, yeah. he got to blink in on people, be very close range. He's got to hit his damage all in a row to make sure he kills people because he plays a little bit of Sassany as well. Mm -hmm. yep. He's a really aggressive guardian. Fat so this being able to hit people on the sides of him is going to definitely help him. That's Kabraken. Like Next the on the list is going to be like Kamazots. Vampire Bats increase the buff duration from 210 seconds to 300 right. seconds and now persists through death. So he's going to have his that's passive that, more often. That's that passive yeah. thing. Right. So this is a, he's okay. a very lifesteal um, jungle well. focused make that assassin. Way so he has this stacking way buff you can get from his ability too to that you. gives him bonus healing mm -hmm. and bonus lifesteal. Yep. And it's really punishing right now. If you die with him at all, you lose all the stacks. And yeah. it's really hard to stack it in other game modes because there's less jungle camps and things like yeah. that. So that's why we're increasing the duration and okay. we're making sure that it's, it stays on death. This is like yeah. a core it's part a of this jungle kit, buff. And it seems overly punishing <laughs> for, for no reason to just wipe that out. If you are a vigilant Kamazons player and moving around and making sure you're keeping it stacked, that's reward enough. We don't need to double punish you for a death. Very, very true. Yeah. <laughs> Kurnanos is next on the list and Kurnanos will move along to him. Is he gonna the nerf? Wild Hunt. Decreased cooldown from 100 seconds to 90 seconds. Oh, they're buffing him. And Bramble Blast as well. Increased base damage of Bramble Blast from 40 to 200 is now going to be 60 to 200. So an early CERN game is buff of Bramble Blast. Right now and of course, and cooldown reduction it. on the Wild Hunt. Uh, two buffs for Kurnanos. He's not been in meta as of much lately. He's, He's just right pushes another. Surprisingly low. Don't really yeah, right uh, now. Even after a buff we did a little while ago where he got this polymorph slow yeah. because yeah. of Hera. Yep. 
<laughs> still, just, uh, but it wasn't enough. It's very to interesting really because I, I talked to a lot Fern of pros at the time. They're like, they always say, I love Kernodos. Like, I really enjoy playing him. And then instantly. when you see them actually playing him, you know, they, they don't actually play him in the SBL or anything, but they do enjoy playing the Hunter itself. So I think he's. But like, they all said the same thing, too. They say, I really like Kernodos, but Bramble Blast yes, feels Bramble terrible Blast. So you both at did. rank one. Yep. So you They're both like, did. yeah, this ability is useless yeah. at rank one. He's, he seems like he should be an okay Hunter. But this just holds him back. Yep. So there you go. Early oh, game buff to that ability is mainly so we'll strong. We'll see if that can affect so uh, Moving on from so C, strong. we're going to jump straight to F here for Fafnir. So strong. Draconic corruption increased dragon breath from twenty to forty, Ooh. plus ten percent of your magical That's scaling will now be twenty to sixty, ah, okay. plus ten percent of your magical scaling. So Play late game. game, more fire breath from Fafnir. This yeah. is an interesting one. The fire itself was really threatening when he's level five, but at level twenty, he's like, he's like breathing on you, and hitting like ten damage, and it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, but that's like okay. that's like an evolution of you getting stronger and tankier, and dragons don't so, hurt you as much. I mean, Fafnir is a right? really cool guardian. He's got a super unique ultimate where he transforms right. into from a dwarf into a giant dragon, I don't know and powers up how... all his abilities and changes the base attack. It's awesome, but he's fallen Relevant, out of popularity quite you know. a bit. And that's we've seen him using the pro scene. Yeah, and that's where that we had to think about, about carefully when we were buffing this character all, because honestly. he has really good evasion. He can leap, he can make himself untargetable, and then leap again even further. So he's very good at escaping and chasing people down. Can't buff that. He's also really good at lockdown. It's a very weird he can stun thing to you, buff. transform, stun you again, stun you a third time. He can lock you down. So we have to be really careful with that too. And we also, we all know what happens when Coerce, when his ability, he buffs people oh, for yeah. their attack speed and power. We can't buff that either. Nope. <laughs> so damage is where we looked on him. Um, the god brings a lot of unique strengths to a team. It's really exciting, but we want to make sure that that late game dragon feels like a dragon. Feels a little yeah. bit better. Okay, that's Fafnir. Next yeah. up is going to be Hera on the list. And uh, Hera's nerf. been you know, pretty potent, I'd say. A lot of people oh, are very high. Cool down, she's been down for a bit. very high. Well, it's going to be August, of oh, August the defender, that's going to get a bit of a nerf here, the ultimate. Increased cooldown from 70 to 90. That makes a lot of sense, guys. Like, oh uh, my god, they did a nerf Freya. You're right. Time goes on anyway, exactly. Right? exactly. Yes. H is so after Hera's F. passive really enables that playstyle where she's designed around having Argus off, less, up often, yeah. but cooldown Stayed reduction less. combined with her passive, if you're playing well, was already doing the job. No it being her. reduced cooldown at the top no end of Freya. 70 seconds instead of a standard 90 second cooldown was just too much. It was too available. Um, it was very hard no. to find downtimes to really engage on Hera. Um, that should be something Hera works Good towards note. getting Good and feeling note. rewarded for getting, yeah. not just something that she just kind of gets for free. She's got it up all the time. Yeah, and right. And this was a high point of frustration for opponents yeah. of Hera's. The goddess feels feels counterable, and they felt like they could do some some good things in the fight. But then just getting Argus dropped on you over and over again was really frustrating. So this is gonna bring Hera to a more manageable. I think that's state. the only nerf yeah. Hera needs. I think the cooldown is fine. We'll move on to Hercules that was the most next on the list. Excavate for Hercules. Yeah. Decrease cooldown from 90 seconds. It's now gonna scale from 90 down to 70 seconds in the late game. That's good. Um, boulders for days, boys. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much really right? good. Yeah. There's. I mean, 90 <laughs> seconds is quite a long time for someone like Hercules to have that, but it, it's a late game damage down, potential sense. increase. Like mm -hmm. that, Hercules tends to fall Man, off pretty hard late honestly, game. Honestly, he gets so he's really far, hard to kill. The meta but he is have that not changing that kill much. potential like, that he had early game. Late game sure. So we want him to be able to at least use the this rock often, so which can right really now, scare like, people and, roles, and, and like, be really good for uh, combo plays uh, with the teammates. I think yeah. it'll also help him a little bit more survivability because he's immunity, right? You can oh, use true. it more yeah, often yeah, to yeah, get yeah, out of I'm still not seeing anything that's... That's Hercules. Got to get my Fenrir Erling out of the duo lane for support or whatever. Is she released? I, it's, yeah, it's well, there you go. She needs some buffs yet. because apparently Hindu man okay. forgot she's in the game. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a hot This minute. is exactly magic. what we're going for. I think it's all play well okay. once, and now he's in the 40 to 55. That's, that's actually a huge huge range magic. Increase range, increase from range from 40 huge to 55. I thought I said 4 and to 5. Circular protection. Second. Increase range from 35 to 40. Dispel magic at that range, boys. That's a pretty low range. Well, it's long 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 Isis is, I mean, her wing gust is pretty mobile, but she doesn't have a lot of like quick range wow. damage. Like her spirit ball goes far, but it's very slow, and her wing gust is very easy to to see and and Thank dodge accordingly. You. So Thank it didn't really make sense you. to us why this ability, this like main control element of hers, that makes Isis able to battle other mages, was so short range. It just felt bad. It felt strange. Yeah, I mean, this one we definitely, you know, there's a lot of discussion in the community about different ways to touch Isis recently, and mm. we, I think we harmonize why on this ability itself. This being able to help teamfights and come towards them without actually using your wing gust, but using dispel magic is going to be very important.
The cool. ultimate as well did get that change as well in terms of the range. Yeah. Um, Her abilities are very good. They do a lot of strong things individually, but there was some bad feels and some yeah. weird like actual gameplay scenarios where you have this awesome silence, but when you're fighting the other mage, you just literally never get to use it. And those types of things we just want to remove from her so we can see right. really how she, how well she could do. Okay, we'll see how that works out for it. Because as you said, Wing Ghost is a pretty good potent wing. Yeah, oh yeah. Ability, especially with the basic attacks too. Next on the list is... <laughs> a lot is of bullet points. Um, a bit of a list. This is King Arthur, boys and girls. a lot of bullet okay? points. So... Woo. Bear with me while I just right. read through this real quick. Ooh. General, basic attacks have had a large pass to improve functionality and remove jitter players would experience, especially on higher ping environments. Okay. Fix an issue where King Arthur would be silenced permanently from Ganesha's own. That was, that, that's a thing? Rare, yeah, a thing. very rare. Oh, okay. I was going to be like, in my game that would be fun. Fun. Fix rare. an issue where King Arthur could crash players with his ultimate. I thought Fine. that was a feature of it. Nope. Not supposed to be that that's, strong. That's a feature for me when the game's going bad. That's what that is. Okay. Fix an issue where King Arthur could speed up player animations with his <laughs> ultimate. Seeing that happen. Fix an issue Fixed where basic it. attacks could proc item effects they were unintended to. Yep. Fix an issue where Excalibur's Fury could stun targets behind King Arthur. Mm. That should be a feature. <laughs> Updated the camera on Excalibur's Fury to provide better vision while airborne. Updated the camera on Excalibur's Fury for enemies to be less jarring. Then fixes, fixes, fixes. On top of that, here's so the those fixes. Are all fixes. Okay. Well, they're all fixes. Then we've also got some balance wow. changes. Twin cleave slash blade storm. We're gonna increase the energy gain from these from one to two points per hit. And sundering strike decrease the charge range a little from sixteen to twelve. Now, obviously, Pom, when this guy came first came okay. out, this is a lot of corrections to someone because we put a lot of tech into this god that we've yes. not done before. So... And things are gonna go wrong and not go correctly all the time, unfortunately. Yeah. But we've got most of these ironed out now. Yeah, Basically, there are a lot of interesting tech decisions and design decisions that need to be made for King Arthur to to kind of make him work the way he does. Sure. And that had some unintended side effects. Some players, especially in higher ping environments, were having really negative experience with okay. the basic attacks. Yeah. Um, because they have like lock on and force charge. Um, we're really focused on trying to resolve those things. And you also note that as the first bounce pass for him, he doesn't have that many bounce adjustments. Okay. And it was interesting sure. to watch the the community kind of play Arthur, figure out what was going on with him. Um, the initial reception was he was really, really strong. People yep. did number crunching on him, felt he was overpowered. And then All community right. perception shifted to being that he's actually underpowered. And what we've seen is why he doesn't perform well when players first get their hands on him. He slowly does rise back up as players. He's a hard character. He has combos. He has a lot of hidden got mechanics. A bit um, of there's a video where people are using fixes. the basic attacks to avoid other people's basic attacks. Those are things okay, that really push his skill ceiling up. Ranges. And so we want to let so. people actually experience that, let people All go right. through the learning process rather than try and just buff him and make him potentially a nightmare once I, people do learn him. I think the one change I saw most is like it felt like he didn't have the real ultimate up, these big powerful ultimate up as often. So yeah. increasing the amount of energy again is probably going to be a good push in that direction. Yep. We learned some very interesting things. He has a slight energy buff though cool. from um, one to two. One thing is that players need to recognize that just reading a kit Sorry. on paper <laughs> does not give you the full experience. Uh, sure, maybe some abilities where we just say line projectile and you can get in a good idea of how it's going to hit, whatever. But for King Arthur, his abilities just feel different and they have different, very different ways that you have to use them and to actually mm -hmm. connect hits. And that's one thing we've learned as a design team that the way at which an ability is fired, its speed, its size, mm -hmm. its projectile type, all of that and animation timing affects the character in a huge amount, in a balance, in a meaningful balance. I'm talking point, points of win percentage mm. for changing very slight things just there. Small yeah. things. That's one thing that um, players, when they're just reading it quickly or just making a, a gut reaction, do not consider. And in Smite, it matters a lot. Yeah. And we've seen that proof positive in King Arthur. And the right. other thing is really interesting is kind of watching this learning curve for a new god. Yeah. Um, we've never really seen one as extreme <laughs> as King Arthur. Just charting the god's performance it. per mm -hmm. day, he has increased a huge amount. Really? Yeah. Yes. Um, generally, that doesn't yeah, change yeah. that much uh, on a god's entire like first two weeks. I mean, it, it always increases a little bit. And we yeah. see yeah. this for every god. Mastery zero is the worst win rate. And then it, it slowly, slowly rises okay. up but through two or three, and then it levels up and oscillates a little I bit. I still don't know. Um, I'm not some gods King are a little yet. bit steeper than others. I, don't think I guess it's also a bit more complex with, the, with the couple of issues he was having, too. So those being right. cleaned up would make it a more But he's just a fundamentally different character. Sure. And that means that his ability numbers can be different from other gods, and it's okay. Speaking. And his controls will be different from other gods, and that's okay. Speaking of unconventional gods. <laughs> Loki oh, yep. is on the patch notes this We're week. Nerf him. 
base stats. Don't confuse them. <laughs> He's nerfed. Decreased damage progression from yes. 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1 1.5 damage to 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1.5. 1 so those are basics. Damage. They're the basic attacks, you know. Here's the big one. And say I mean, the to basic Mega. attack is the big I one. We'll never see him ever again. Oh, I think the mitigations is the big one. I disagree, but go oh. ahead and read it. Okay, Vanish. Removed the damage mitigation oh, from this ability. Yes. yes, you will not survive longer nice. with dots on you because you can turn invisible <laughs> and not get pulled out of stealth anyway. Uh -oh. Die, you <laughs> scumbag, so, die. You see it you'll, you'll see this uh, when you get Feels the write up good. for the dots, but Loki is a fantastically different character in Smite. Maybe that infuriates you, maybe you love him. He's designed to be that. But he's fantastic. very different. And he, a character like that, love thrives him. when they're just outside the meta, right? We want him to be just on the bottom point of balance where he is not completely bad, but he's good when you really learn and really commit to his play style. But this year, year we yeah. saw his stats skyrocket to scary levels. Yeah. That's why these uh -huh. nerfs are pretty heavy handed. His win percentage, play rate, and ranked and ban rate are all the highest we've ever seen in the history of Smite. And it's not even close. I mean, there was one really kid, yeah. high. There was a college kid that, like, he, we've never seen him play well before in his life, and he won a world championship because of it. Yes. So, like, it just shows, so, you know? That 25% scaling nerf on every first hit of Loki, yeah. that is a huge nerf. That is a, effectively on the Loki combo where you alt basic uh, poison basic vanish basic. Yeah. That's a 75% nerf. I do appreciate the nerf. I do have a feeling, though, that still, when new players come in, they're still going to experience the same old Loki issues. A little bit. But well, we this, we're, them, we're refusing. Right? The, we're, players need to learn how to protect themselves against bursts. Like, you, That's true. you need to learn how to hit your CC immunity, you leap away, yeah. you hit your beads and agus. That's okay. But this was making research. this was to a level which was very difficult to ever counter, even when your yeah. reaction time was bye bye, very high. Players, and it was goodbye. just frustrating. A lot of times the community bye, would look Loki at his players. kit and look at and yes, say, scumbags. This is obvious bloat to me. This character doesn't need this mitigation. Ugh. It's already hard to hit him while stealthed. Yeah. Yeah. Loki's not taking that much damage while stealthed, realistically, bye, in most games, goodness. right? Well, he has movement speed, he has decoys to block things, he has his ult if he needs to really get out of a situation. Right. He situation. can't be re revealed. That's the best change this so yeah, why does he need this as damage, not the damage reduction? We want players to feel rewarded when they do hit Loki during stealth because it's hard to do and it's, it's cool when you predict him and hit him and stuff like that so now that mitigation is gone so better feels all around for counterplay. Next up more targets towards more solo lane gods because that's where you kind of saw Loki. Osiris a warrior Getting with some more love sickle strike yep. increased based damage from 60 to 260 will now be 70 to 270 so 10 at all deal. levels I guess that and spirit flail increased damage sorry base damage from 75 to 290 will now be 80 either. to 295 so five on that and 10 on sickle strike as well combination yeah. just more damage output yeah so he is a character that really wants to get on a target use sp uh, spirit flail yeah, and the the one to really just kind of rack up damage over time Neither I mean, we've seen what deals. like small damage increases two warriors can do this is also right. in addition to warriors blessing being potentially better this is also in addition to him getting additional health overall mm -hmm. um and that bonus damage is going to really help him brawl where he was struggling key thing for me is osiris is relatively low cooldown you have to yeah. hit ability after ability after ability really rack it up so these small damage increases can have a big impact yeah and you should be rewarded for that it like i just mentioned about king arthur it's hard I don't, maybe you're our, you're our smite frequenter and you're great at this game, but it's hard to hit every ability every time There's over and over again. There, right? It's hard to hit them, and yeah. things like this, you should be rewarded for these good plays and hitting a lot of things in rapid Calling succession. Out the Reddit. Pele is the next guy on the list after Earth. Osiris, and Pele, Everlasting Flame, decreased the duration from four to six I seconds. I don't actually know what that is. Four to six. Uh, six, 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 six to four. four. From six yeah, to four. Seconds. I mean, my sheet says Decre four. Six, six no, to four. yeah, that says that. That's wrong. This is the life I live, right? Because I get it wrong that's when I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's six to four seconds. Though. I probably typed that wrong. <laughs> you can blame me. Numerically, blame Ajax though. on that one. No, decreased duration from six to four and decreased power from two per level. Right, because you used to give five oh, plus two per level, and I just five plus one per level. Power from two that's a lot of free power we're taking away from her. Yeah. Um. The passive getting This goddess has had a lot of success. And we want to look at these very specific situations, right, Clumsy, where um, players were able to completely turn around okay. fights with this ability. And that's we kind of what it's intended for, right? but it's it's too extreme. I say baby, the world. Yeah, we, we saw her there. in Worlds, but finally, you know, we only saw her, I think, you know, two or three times. Yeah, she had not a, very she had much, a pretty, actually. She had a pretty average win rate, even right now in live. You know, she's she's a little yeah, bit strong, she but she's also again. not overwhelmingly strong at all. It's a perception of, you know, she's a very pumped up the assassin. So when she wins, she wins early and she wins hard. Or she goes to the lake and she's very Thanatos ass. That's who I compare her to the most. Highest banned god right now, I believe. Really? Therefore, nerfs a must. I would not have guessed really? that. I would have yeah. thought it was elsewhere, that. No. Huh. 
the more you know. That's Pele. Poseidon. How is Freya now the number one band god? Poseidon here, based what? What got you guys have been in Pele instead of Freya? Two point six. He's just a little bit tankier as our little. little yeah, he was, he was just him. way off the Watching stat. all of you guys. Right? Stay out of my range. Like, he was like. He was lower than everybody Alawak. for no apparent reason. For, by yeah. a good margin. By a lot. Oh, wow. Was that probably from the okay. old days of Legacy when you so mobility most retriving, likely. Potentially. I guess. Um, most likely. Honestly, this is probably a good spot to give a shout out to the pro Discord as well because a lot of these changes, yeah. you know, we've had discussed with them. I know this is one of them that was on there yeah. that we definitely agreed with. A lot of items, a lot of gods discussion we have on the pro Discord. I definitely want to give them a shout out. Pros do a good job of helping us find these very small, detailed interactions and things. Things, and they're not necessarily like specifically targeted towards pro gameplay. Yeah, this change is not necessarily. Maybe it will. Okay. I mean, maybe it will make Poseidon <laughs> slightly better against a jungler sure. at the highest level. But oh, this is going to affect. This is going to help players of all skill, of levels, all skill of levels, all game sure. modes. Sure. Um, this brings Poseidon to a more re reasonable mage um, within yeah, the Poseidon range of mage that stats. Do more, mm -hmm. uh, another mage on the list here. Oh, Toph oh here we go. The next yeah. one. Why are we saying? Can we oh, nerf him? Oh, I've got to sit up straight for this one. It's like because we're going to have to go into a couple I don't big ever ones. So let's like get into it. Don't soft, honestly. Mm -hmm. All right, Hierographic Assault. Increased damage from 40 to 120 is now going to be 45 to 125. He's already coming so back. Five into the increase meta in Hierographic anyway. Assault. Per shot. Yep. yep. Per shot. Mm -hmm. Evade and punish. Oh, evade and punish. No longer stuns, but pierces through enemies and roots the first god hit and slows every other enemy hit. The root and slow last 1.5 second at all ranks, and the slow is 30% at all ranks as well. Final judgment, the last thing to note of here as well, increased scaling of the ultimate from 100% to 120%. Boys, Toss me in through the mix a little bit because that he had a stun, he didn't have a stun. No, I to be fair. He didn't have a stun, then he got a stun, then he had a slow, and now he's gonna ruin, and now he's gonna ruin the punishments with a slow. <laughs> Why? What's going on? Large. Well, Thoth is a difficult character to balance. We'll just say that. He's a difficult I'll character to play. Hey, okay, right um, now. We often saw him with extremely low win rates, like really low and very, very high pick and ban rates. Right. Players were largely unsuccessful with him, but feeling feeling okay about it, but people were very unsuccessful with him. And I think finally through towards the end of season five, um, a player perception and reality started to align, where they everybody started to realize this god's not very strong. Right. Um, he can still be frustrating, but he's not very strong. So we were, we were looking at what are the safe ways yeah, to bring nice. up his strength, particularly Honestly, rewarding him for hitting those I don't even think that's a hard core nerf on his team. Okay. Exactly. So that's where we a, got rid of the a, stun. It's the stun a is no more. Now nerf. you have a root. So like, yeah, if you're another long range mage or hunter, anymore, you can fight back like, against Thoth while he's trying to combo you. Maybe he'll still do a lot of damage to you with damage, this combo, but at least you can fight back the whole time. Buff. If you've got a leap or a dash, you can just Potential, dodge it. Right? Mm -hmm. like, so. You can use a lot of movement abilities while mm -hmm. rooted in smite, which is great. Um, because that allows more counter play against Thoth as well. But we br needed to bring up some of his other damages as well, mm. because the god is doing record low damage and, and very poor performance yeah. across the board right now. Definitely wow. interesting feedback on Thoth, that's for sure. And the one thing that you're going to yeah. get as well, boys and girls, if you don't remember, one damage, this will be up on the PTS. Damage, and there will be a the chance two for you guys to get feedback to it. Well, first we're going to have the discussion up. phase. Yeah, so, you know, you know I'm sure, uh, I can't check the Discord right now, but I'm sure there's pros right now, oh, a whole boy. thing about things. And we're excited to go check that. And we're really excited to meet with all of you, all players of all types, arena, um, Silver through Masters, come talk to us tomorrow and tell us how you feel about these changes and we'll give you more information about our thought process on some of them. We'll give some more information on maybe the stats and the metrics of the characters and why we made our decisions. Yep. And change our minds. Perfect. I didn't mean to go on to that segment yet because we've still got Zeus. One more god, but The final god of season six is going to get an adjustment here to start start season six. Zeus, Aegis Assault. Cooldown has been increased from 10 seconds to 12 seconds. So that's the disc okay. you throw yeah. mm -hmm. for those at home. Detonate, that's the trucker horn, which is my favorite name of <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Ooh, the horn, it's like, uh, yeah, just because that's, that's how he feels like when you huh? strike people. No, because you, you pull you go, it. Yeah. Wait, oh, so the 180 like that. from 135? That's a huge increase. Damage. You'll see, there's other nerfs. There's nerfs. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's now going to be 60 to 180, so base damage goes up. Increased magical power scaling from 18% to 25%. What's happening? Reduced, oh, okay. Reduced multiplication for each charge from one, two, three oh. will now be one, 1. 1.7, 2.4. Well, that four. seems so much right. more complicated. So the top Why? end comes down, but the bottom end goes up. Uh, it's a bit, it's so basically the base, the, the bottom end goes up a little bit, the base is valuable. 
the scaling actually ends up outpacing the change to the multiplication. So late game, as you've built power, uh, you're going to be a bit more effective with that. And that goes overall through the, the, re the last change. The last change, But right. there's a whole kind of thing to discuss about Zeus once we get there. Lightning Storm is the final ability here as well. We're going to go through. Adjusted the damage from 120 to 200 is now going to be 100 to 220. So early game nerf late game buff on that right but it's also got increased magical weird. power scaling from 50 percent to 55 percent so break zeus down for me what is all that going to do to him on a layman this is a tricky one yes so overall weird. zeus's initial ability to deal damage to other gods his wave clear is largely the same you throw out the shield you auto attack the shield and that is the same sure but his overall ability to deal damage to other gods is toned down and the reason for this is in other game modes that aren't conquest he is a monster. He, if he gets a <laughs> like few early kills, the best yep. god in the game. I, I think. I think on my. I have a spreadsheet for all this, but I think his early damage was like 790. Like if you just conservatively, you got like a chain lightning, and you got like two things of your ult. You did a lot of damage to the target. Oh sure. Um, and he threw your shield on them, and that caused him to snowball games. He was very frustrating. It was hard to deal with him too because even if you he kind you dodge weird, the shield, it feels you, weird uh, overall. Go on to him. Yeah. He'd pop his ult on top of you. His base damages so were so high that he could build tanky be effective. Games, so these are changes game. targeted towards helping him in other game modes feel like there's more counterplay option. But to offset that, we have given him increased scaling, right? which should mean that if you are going the more kind of damage build, if you have your team to protect you, like you have your Geb in, in Conquest, or you have your Kepri that can revive you, you can be a bit more greedy with your build and be rewarded for it. So hopefully this will give him a bit more identity as a late okay. game mage in conquest gotcha. but also helping him out in these oh, other wow. modes where he was so we're just in the early stages but his late game could that's be one of those he'll need to build like more power have to, yeah. play to do him the to same see. damage okay to, to put it you simply know. he'll need to build sure. more power and he'll be therefore he'll be squishier that's fair because current zeus is actually strange in that he has very high base damages yes. and low scalings across his whole kit so we shifted that a little bit we also a key change here is the Aegis assault um although that ability might deal a lot of damage on its own it's his core enabler for his entire combo and that left him a really, really narrow windows to counterplay him. So by increasing that by two seconds, he won't feel like he always has the shield up. So he's always guaranteed a bunch of free hits on you, which was a frustration okay. factor in playing against mm -hmm. him. So sure. although I mean, we, there's a lot of uh, complicated nerf, buff and nerf shifts here, which we've, you've seen on a couple gods today. Unfortunately, balance can't always be yeah. very simple. Like, let's just increase <laughs> one thing, one, we tried one to number. Make this simple and it wasn't this is a tackling a complicated problem where the god is bad on conquest, good in other modes, um, frustrating to play against, but still can feel weak in some cases. So when you have these complicated scenarios, we have to make a couple shifts to, to, to look at a couple different problems. We'll see how it goes. Well, that is it. Not for the patch. We still have one more whole section. For the God section. Oh God, what time is it? Conquest. This is what I've got left. You see this bit? What this, time this is, is it? This all these pages left, right? <laughs> we'll be back for what a little bit more of this in a second. But for now, John Finch is standing by with a couple of pro players to maybe talk a little bit more about what they've seen. All right, let's get a little bit more of an esports look at what's going on with some of these balance changes. Finch here, I have two of our pros right. here with us to talk some about just what you can expect from Season 6 esports, some of the changes as well, I imagine. Uh, there was some pretty cool stuff that we just got to see, and just a little bit about what you're expecting from the season. So, um, again, I got Vananu here with me, Kiki, so cheeky, and he is indeed so cheeky. I've been hanging out with you. It's, not a, <laughs> it's a good name for him. Uh, I guess just tell tell us, and I'll ask you both, just you know what team we're on, how long you guys have been playing, uh, just a little bit about yourselves. We'll start with you, Kiki. Okay, um, I'm on LG <laughs> yeah. currently, and I've been playing since SPL. Yeah, come a little further forward. They want to hear you, Kiki. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Should I repeat? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on LG, and <laughs> Kiki, I've yeah. been playing since SPL started. Yeah. What was the other question? Um, <laughs> your your support for LG, this team, Ryan. You've been here since SPL started. That's about it. Yeah, you've That's been true. around for forever. It feels like. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Same for for you, Ben. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, currently on SSG, and previously was last year, and I started getting into competitive in season three for a team allegiance for a hunter. It's right. Mid lane. Welcome now, back. Yeah, yeah. Mid lane now. And just You're complaining welcome. about mid all the time. <laughs> Physical <laughs> OP, man. Well, hunters are good. You're not yeah. wrong. Uh, well, I guess, you know, we just saw all these different changes. What kind of, what stuff kind of stuck out to you all? And I guess you can tell a little bit if you think it'll impact, you know, how it is for season six, season six, anything stick out for, for you, Kiki, from some of those changes to like gods and items and that sort of stuff? I still don't Lock feel like the patch is Yeah, strong. he's got the, the chug Honestly. at level zero, right? You don't even have to put a point in it now. Mm -hmm. How much does that help Bacchus like... in the support role? Well, that helps him get 20 magic power I don't with know. his chug as well. So he's just going to be destroying everyone. <laughs> <laughs> if he if he gets it all the way up, right? If he, if he It still the, feels the, so the much like a mid yeah. So I'm excited for, for some of Bacchus' stuff. Yeah. What about you, Vin? What kind of stuck out to you? Uh, probably the Patch Froth change. And not Froth change a new kind of, season. Kind of insane. 
Uh, it's how it was previously when he first released. It was a slow, and then right. it's currently back to that, but now it roots. And it's not going to be insane because I can already imagine it around Gold Fury of Fire where you can, like, two right through the wall. And, like, where on Chaos side when you're coming through from the blue buff and the back camps, mm -hmm. coming right there, I can see a Thoth right now just shooting right through it. <laughs> Oof, it's going to be a rough one. And, and then, my understanding well, is it hits beyond that yeah, as well, right? Yeah. So you, it's, it might be more damage yeah, for that. you can hit five people with it. It's going to be interesting. And then the ult, mm -hmm. finally can one-shot again, possibly. I don't know. Got that increased scaling on it, yeah, so we'll be doing 20% more damage. more. Seeing a bunch of Vin Thoth, then. That's what uh, you're telling uh, me, right? Mm -hmm. Van Thoth against yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Auto man against him. Well, Feels with Ben. You heard Ben say he's going to play some Ben loves he'll play Bacchus. He and loves Kabrakin. And Kabrakin. That's right, Kabrakin got the uh, tectonic it. shift chain. He so would now only play Thoth and Morgan. And you're just doing damage to. in a bigger area now, too. Yeah. So You're going to full chug and jump on me on the die. Oh, like <laughs> sundered, dude. Double are you gonna, sundered and jumped on. <laughs> you're going to go to the dual lane at all? He was going to go right in Father of Van and mid lane, I guess. I'm, right? I'm sticking to middle. Right? <laughs> going to get double sundered and die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go mess them up then. Okay, yeah. so um, season six is also getting some changes just to the way the whole pro league is gonna be happening. You know, you guys are gonna be here at the LAN for all the games now. Even the phases are different from the spring split. How much do you think it's gonna make a difference, I guess, for you guys and having those changes in the way the whole SPL is going? Um, or Ben. Yeah, oh, I, mean, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's gonna affect a lot of the teams, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, some teams might be better on LAN, some uh, players that maybe like choked Gosh. on LAN or had nerves are going to get much better because as time like progresses and you're sure. more used to like a land environment and stuff like that obviously not playing in front of fans <laughs> but um you'll probably get like more used to it and like people like the anxiety and have trouble you know with a land environment and probably mm -hmm. going to get better and you know being with your team you're more used to it so like trust goes up uh, i mean yeah. synergy goes up i mean and then just being able to talk to everybody and everybody in the league kind of really good for the league because then everybody becomes like closer and stuff like that and then Having EU and NA mix, then strats are going to be because usually there's an NA meta and EU meta, right? And then a, once the land comes together, then it's like whose meta is better, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's no now NA it's going to be mixed. EU meta so anymore. I'm curious how it goes. I think NA maybe meta. some of the NA EU because we swallowed EU. Good, That's right, NA won. Right. Yeah. Are there any um, ate, uh, maybe <laughs> rosters or anything that you're looking forward to? I guess as then dark we're building a wall like and maybe keeping any them all here. that surprise you with like where people are on their teams or anything like that? They've been bamboozled. A lot of the teams, just the way that. They shifted, but um, I think everyone picked pretty well. Um, SK. <laughs> yeah. I'll say SK. That they kind of like stuck together. I guess the new SK that was Trifecta, or mm -hmm. yeah, that they all stuck together. Their team could be good, I think. Uh, what, what about you, Vin? Anyone that you're looking forward to or keep your eye on? Uh, I got LG, dude. LG's going all yeah, the way. LG. All right, let's yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> LG's winning more else. They or, certainly like Well, that. technically getting second, because you have to get through us first. Okay. Right, you guys will be we'll there. We'll see. Yeah, Sorry, <laughs> yeah. so well, I'm, I'm looking forward Bacchus. to watching a bunch more from you guys. Thanks so much for coming in. Yep. Uh, there's going to be some changes to the Conquest map. One of those changes Whoa. is the Gold Fury. Dude. That's exciting. It's kind of so crazy. So we got a, a, a cool video for that coming up. We'll go ahead and give you guys a look at what you can expect from All those right. changes. The actual Conquest map changes. Whoa, dude, what's all that? It's all the gold I got from killing the Gold Fury. I want some. Nice gold, but where did you get that red buff? Defeating the gold fury gave me increased damage to jungle camps, so I had no problem grabbing this on my way. Man, you rock. Cancel that. <laughs> did they hear me? Six seasons. Man, you rock. And we're still doing content like that, boys and girls. That's Welcome like the good old days. All right. To the show, to the final, final part of Let's, today's show, which is going to be all it. to do. Let's do it. With Conquest updates to the map. Please don't read this whole next part for me. Yes. <laughs> Please don't read it. It's okay. a speed read it if you want. Please don't read it. I would like, like to see you try, but don't. Please just let Pawn explain So first it. thing that's going to happen here is the first thing we're going to talk about is kill bounty adjustments. Yes. Overall, okay. these are going to be increasing is what you Applies need to know. Applies to all game modes. This is all game modes, not just yes. Conquest. There you go. All game modes. Cool. So all game modes, kill bounties are going to increase. Experience. Pump on, break it down real quick. What's the, the be all and all? Okay. You get more so golden experience? The TLDR is the, the way the kill bounty works and right. the gold bounty works is when you kill a player, it takes their level into account. Yep. And it takes into account the difference between you and the player that you killed. In skill. Uh, no. <laughs> potentially. I'm no, joking. In sorry. level. So Ajax if you are crazy. lower level, it would multiply your, like let's say you're four levels below your target. It would actually multiply this value by like 0. 0.4. 
Um, if you're one, it'd be point 0.1. What we've done is we've increased that for in the situation where you are killing someone higher level than you. Okay. So that formula basically is just cranked up. So now so if you kill someone who's higher level snowball. than you, you're going to get That's more good. You're going to get more gold and you're going to get more uh, experience. So it's a reward for comeback, basically. Yes. So it's a little bit of an anti-snowball mechanic. Okay. It's right. specifically meant to make people feel rewarded for killing, cool. getting those tough kills, getting okay. those shutdown kills. Yes. Like when someone is really fed on a team and you kill them, the, the increase is not that noticeable right now, so it's going to be a little I'm bit I'm down more. for anything it's not, that's anti-snowball. Yes, anything crazy, but you will feel better and you'll get better so. rewards for killing a player higher level than you, okay, than you yeah. used to. If and you we did would... not change it in the other direction. Yeah, so if you are a higher level and you kill someone lower than the level than you, the new formula would make it so you get like zero experience after they're four levels less than you. Oh, interesting. Uh, we haven't done it for them though. So they are, right. it's going to follow the same old formula. Okay. okay. That's but that's good. kind of the difference in intensity that's that good. players who are lower level than higher level versus so higher level. So the only thing level. that people need to worry about is that if you kill someone who's higher level than you and a bit of a spree, you'll get more reward. Correct. If you're that player at a higher level killing the okay. lower levels, I like don't that. worry about it. Business as usual, boys. Keep a going. Good chance. That's why you said don't read this because the formula cool. is going to be listed right. on the patch notes. It's yep. there. Yeah. Yeah. The notes and if you're getting a little fed, don't jogging. get too greedy because you know you might make a comeback. Sounds good. Next up on the All list right. of changes, mm -hmm. is this for Conquest only? This is for Conquest only. Correct. Game start time. Now, normally at the start of the game, there's quite a bit of a downtime, which was there for reasons before, but it seems they've got to be lowering that down. Start of the game is something we have toyed around around with before okay. has always been on the longest side of the conquest but we're going to be short oh wow that's quick yes it's right there oh it is yes there? oh we okay. just put it on here yeah, that's really it. i got cool. isaiah to put that in last it. second that was my uh, bad for wow thank typo. you isaiah you better so get down. in and buy your items that kiddos that you clumsy Clumsy is now spawn 45 seconds the game starts down from 130 i believe it was 130 okay right i think we moved it down to one we moved it down to one yes it is less apologies for the graphic, whether it's correct or not, what I will do is make sure okay. that you guys get the information. But there's a key element to go along with that, which yes. is now you will get essentially the pyromancer buff everybody will have at the start of the game. So you can get out of your fountain faster. Oh, really? You'll yes. get a, and this will be an intended speed buff everybody gets when they okay. first leave lane. So we have less downtime. So if you want to do the early, like early invades okay, and okay, setup strategies okay. that you've got with the downtime, now you still can because of the movement speed. Right? Exactly. Okay. I mean, sure. But the yeah. game starts quicker. And this, if you, you, this will, yeah. I mean, you can't use this in combat. No, yeah, sure. so it'll fade, but you can get you, you can, can get you to can different places faster. Get into yeah. different yes. positions. That's what I was meaning. The so the idea is to speed the whole thing up, but we want to still give you a, around the ability to get to the same places, but That's faster. Good. So less time and more speed. Okay. Shift that. I, I can, all in I can all, dig it. A good, fun feeling I can dig and a more, more active start. And that is only before the minions spawn, you get that speed boost? Yes. Or is it like can you, uh, when you leave the fountain, do you I, get it again? Well, when you first go into the game, it's a one minute, 30 seconds until the zero timer, right? right. So now it's going to be one minute. And for that for for the whole one minute as well as another fifteen seconds afterwards, that that speed boost will be there. It'll give you a little bit of leeway if you're late to the match or. Uh, yeah. I wonder if there's going to be some uses of like waiting in base okay. for minions to spawn and then using possibly. Speed. I, I mean, we've seen a couple playtests where you know some guardians go out, get some early wards in, and then still get back to base and have that speed boost. People twice. could do that already, yeah. though. Okay. Yeah, like, people could do that does, already. This will help with that. And you combat. have a lot less time, so. I oh, was the reason for that. Just that the, there was so much downtime before the yeah, start. Yeah, it was just getting old. That's now we fair. know the map. We we mostly wanted you a little have more time because it was a completely new map, like completely new. Okay. So we wanted to give people time to learn. Now people have mostly learned that. We don't need that extra time. It ain't but no we want completely to make it new still. map. This We're going to move on now to one of the bigger changes this patch. We talked about the solo lane a little oh. bit and some of the changes there. We're going to start it off then. We've talked about that. New objective, Totem of Ku. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. that is right. correct. Now, the Totem of Ku is going to be located behind the fire giant by the solo lane's middle entrance. This objective is a neutral structure, not a, mon not a boss monster. It's going to have base health 750, physical protections of 15, magical protections of 10, health increases by 250 each time it is successfully taken, spawns at one minute in the game, okay. respawns one minute after it has successfully been taken, and despawns at 15 minutes in the game. Right. Okay. Yeah, one quick amendment on that. The base health is going to actually be around 300 on okay. the start, not 750. We still have a whole week of discussion yeah, and a sure, whole week even until PTS. Yeah. Some of these numbers, and when we jump in games, some of the visual feedback will not be okay. completely finished. So it's a neutral mob that you can't kill, but you can take. So you're basically giving it, it doesn't deal damage. damage as a tribute. Right. So it's just going to take damage from you it. You just attack it. Yep. Then, once you have secured this for your team once active the first team that deals enough damage to the totem will have all of their tower areas empowered allied gods that step into the empowered tower area receive a buff the buff at the moment i've got down here is five percent movement speed 25 mp5 
plus 25 gold to each team That happens member. as soon as it's killed. When it's taken? Yeah. Okay. Buff lasts for 10 seconds when leaving the volume. And empowered tower area lasts a minute. So after you take this objective, if you secure it, it spawns in the first minute. And once you've secured it with enough damage, your team will get movement speed around your towers, MP5 around your towers. Yep. And your team all gets 25 Gs each. Yep, so we just saw there that you right go. now. And it, we, okay. as you can see, it's got a cool little uh, meter, a material that grows up it as you deal enough damage. And then when you successfully complete that, everyone on your team will immediately get the gold, and all of your towers will get that glow area where you can step into it for bonus movement speed and uh, mana regeneration. All your towers, your phoenixes as well. So really yeah. what this is cool is it allows the solo laner to carry other lanes. Okay. So even if your duo and mid are struggling, you can win solo. It's or you can have your jungler make more make more rotations over here to help you win solo and help different. take this objective to help your other lanes. So it despawns at 15 minutes, it says here as so well. Like, so I'm just trying to work out the maths of this. Like technically, if you're camp, how getting camped you under your own tower. I mean 15, but that's impossible really because you need some time, so more like 14 or right. 13 Four, times. Yeah, 14, 13 is your optimal. Well, no, I guess you have to cut that in half because it's one minute yeah, on. Yeah, so a minute despawn as well, right? No, it's a, if you so kill it immediately off cooldown, again. it's one minute and then it resets again. So if you kill it immediately perfectly over time, you could get it. 10 plus times. Okay. It's, There's, no one has done that in playtesting Yeah, we yet. don't see that. I'm no sure one has the done fans that. at home will find a way to get 10, and I'm <laughs> excited You're really going to gonna have to hyper clear that wave. But yeah. this is one of the things you guys have been looking at for season six in terms of trying to adjust the solo like lane and mm -hmm. making maybe it maybe a little bit of extra let's gold just sit is the most impactful part. We're trying to promote part. active play. So, so, yeah, yeah, this is a completely new objective. Yeah, Caps is showing it off over here is that it's not the first person who finishes the objective. Each team has their own gauge, that they're oh. their own damage amount that they're trying to fill to. Right. So right now, Caps is switching between the different teams because you can't just kill steal this objective. You actually need to do the full damage to this objective to secure it for your team. Oh. Okay, so you can't so just walk in last hit and go, no, son, I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm right. this now. Each team has to deal the complete amount of damage and they just oh, get to choose so their time. It's a race, even, it's a real like, true DPS race. As if it had two different it. health bars. Pop, you do you feel this sort of objective over here will bring junglers oh, over here more often too, potentially? So I think it really just depends on what you your want to buy as a jungler. Gonna, um, okay. Right now you can go it's to help like your solo lane you feel like that's going to be valuable. You can go take the This is a nice thing minute. to take on the you way. I don't see it being something that I necessarily want to go there all the time and go take. But if I'm over there, it's a nice bonus thing that we can go for. I think this really is for the solo laner who's winning, who's pushing up their opponent. If they're going to play the passive play style, I'm going to get some additional benefit and share that benefit with my team. So in theory, I mean, if you get the 10, Right, if you take those ten times and you get twenty five gold each time, two fifty. You were giving each of your teammates two fifty, which means solo lane can make a really big. Impact. That's a lot of gold. Or just yeah. individually. So we wanted to right? give you like something small here. One yeah. thing, key thing is we didn't want to just directly snow snowball the solo lane. No So XP. that's just giving it more yeah. XP, no XP is really dangerous. But it shares. Like when we had the old yeah, days of fire elementals wow. and things like that. That sure. just makes the solo laner snowball real hard. Here, this buffs the other lanes and it does two things. It gives them a, a little buff up front with the gold bonus. Mm -hmm. And it gives a tactical advantage. So you can actually, if you're pushed under your own tower, you get some bonus help there. If you so make some rotations and you, and buff, you make the really. uh, smart play to rove through your tower on the mm -hmm. way, you can make some other plays. We're yeah, trying to like keep a theme of the season five changes is to stuff. not just give people in a conquest right. match just plain flat stats right. for objectives. We want people to have to make plays and make decisions. Don't you, don't you start lagging on me now. High rest stream. Um, based off of their tactical advantages they've gotten. Good that was kind of, kind of something we've said about, mm -hmm. well, that was something that, that was uh, the goal behind the Pyromancer and the Oracles as well. Yeah. Instead of just giving people, oh, now you just deal more damage to all your enemies forever, like Fire Giant buff again. We wanted to give other tactical advantages, more unique ways to, to win Conquest. And yep. talking then, we can move on. Only um, no, to I actually did have one thing to sure. say because um, the that area as well we before in season five oh, yeah. there was actually two gaps in the wall there for solo yeah. i did want to just make sure for the, you know we also have only now one gap by the totem of ku area so which does say. change the dynamic of the, so the entrances and okay. exits to the solo lane are different geographically now. yes gotcha. exactly oh my god it was there, this is four really before it was right yeah it was four yeah, one two so now it's three now it's three, three. Jeez, well, okay so we lost one of those voice. areas but at the same time we can the top right it's more okay. in the center of the lane mm -hmm. we talked about a couple of other things too we're going to move on to them now gold fury changes now this is going to be a big one because there's going to be two additional gold furies <laughs> added to it. the game okay. not at the same time don't worry it's not going to be that wild they're going to be right. on a rotation That's from what right. i understand between this Interesting. uh the new two additional forms are oni gold fury on Mayan Gold Fury, the first spawn will always be the base Gold Fury that you're used to, know and love, and each spawn will randomly be chosen from the other two Furies, and it'll avoid repeats. 
So, for example, if you get Gold Fury at the start, it'll be Oni or Mayan next. And if Oni comes up, then it'll be Mayan or Gold Fury. It won't right. be going right. back to the same one again. Let's have a look at some of the artwork for these. And this is the Oni one. We'll break down the Oni Fury first of all. The Oni Fury provides the following rewards. On there the next is. round of minions spawned, all minions in all three of the lanes will gain bonus damage increased to 150%. Bonus wow. health increased by 50%. Wow. Physical protection increased 50, wow. and magical protection increased 60. It's going to be some jacked so minions, poison, dude. Jugs, what is the Holy. fire minion situation? Is it a fire minion wave that? Is like a fire minion different to it's, those? It's a powered minion wave, yeah. for right. sure. So, so you stack that with different. a fire you stack minion, on dude? fire minion waves as well. What? Yep. So a fire okay. minion wave you get could be coming minions. down the lane with this empowered... You what? Yep. <laughs> We actually, we yep. just finished a playtest where we did something we, close to that. No yeah, way. we did finish a playtest just now where Flipping. there was actually a lot of these yeah, um, Oni minions. minions that were taking down the Titan. So to break down those stats a little bit more for the fans that don't Jeez, know like the base well, stats wait. of a minion wave versus a fire minion wave, right? Where would these fall in terms of like the wow. damage output and their push power? Is it as strong as a fire minion wave equal to a fire minion no, wave? No, they're somewhere in between. Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're not Fire as waves are really wave. tanky. And, and sure. they get true mitigations, which in, in this case is going to be more powerful. Than fire, the flat. fire minions do. Yeah. 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 So this this okay. can technically be used as a combat mechanic. Yeah. Technically be used so as those a, stacking a, a game ending. With the can't fire get minions will be interesting from pushing at the very end. We've of the got game, fire minions though. in one lane, but we still can't secure it. Let's just empower the minions through this. Uh, one gold. primary goal of this change, besides just making the Gold Fury a little more interesting, was to give the Gold Fury more meaningful changes late game. Right. So this one is very impactful late game. Oh, mm -hmm. for sure. And you'll see the other one has a more impact to the mid to almost yeah. late game, mid to late, whereas this is like late to hyper late still. And this, I mean, this one's good all the time. Gold gold just itself is mostly only good early. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, and at a certain point, it kind of becomes useless. That's pretty late in the game before it becomes Especially useless. Now speed. But yeah. And you still want to prevent the other team from getting it too. So there's there's applications, but now there's a little bit more all to right. have them applications late game. Wow. And you'll still need to make plays. So just spawning this wave, not necessarily going to do a lot on its own. Yeah. You got to make plays to go make sure you push that wave. Okay. Kokokin's still going to kill it with the tornado unless you're there to protect it and help use it to push. Right. That's interesting. I, I'm interested to see how that's going to work out. Right. The other new Gold Fury, but it's not a Gold Fury because that's the Gold Fury. There's an Oni Fury and a Mayan, Mayan Fury. Fury. And Mayan Fury <laughs> is the one we're talking about now. Mayan looks Fury cool, looks a little looks bit like that. And you could, yeah, I really cool. like that. I think we've gone with uh, Primal Fury like as its so main chacky. name. Yeah, I think you know I, I mean? forgot to update the text yeah. on this one. So that's this guy's bad. name is the Primal Fury. So we've got the Oni Fury oh, and we've got the Primal, primal Fury, okay, which is, mine. I mean, it's very much a theme that we're going for with some of these changes as well with the Totem of Ku. You know, it's a Polynesian totem. We wanted to add a little bit more emphasis on the other Pantheon. So we've got, you know, the Japanese Oni Fury, we've got the Mayan Primal Fury. Fury. Okay, now this Primal Fury then, or Mayan Fury is going to send the patch list for now. The Mayan Fury provides the following rewards on killing. All gods on the killing team gain 5% increased damage to jungle camps and bosses. And this stacks. Is this permanently? It is permanent. Mm -hmm. Stacks up to three times. Huh. So if you secure three of these, your whole team is getting 15% bonus damage to jungle camps and Right. To fire giant, another gold fury. So yes. Oni yeah. gives you well, lane advantage. <laughs> Mayan gives you jungle advantage, and All gold right. gives you gold. and gold gives you advantage. Right. Okay. Yeah, and um, what you can actually see here, um, we actually added some pots as well into the geometry, and those will indicate. Um, yeah, thanks, Caps. There, and those will indicate the permanent buff. So right now, you can see that one oh, team okay. has one stack of this buff. That's actually cool. Is that with the pots? Cool. Yes. yes. And we also are going to be uh, the gold fury itself will show you which, as soon as it's killed, you will see the icon there, which will let you identify what the next Fury is going to be. So, the, so it just the, helps the players you kill other actually stuff. Know why You'll need to go up. check the pit. I wonder so, like, they could walk up to the how pit and go, relevant hey guys, that's gonna the be. Primal Fury is coming up next. Right. Yes. And then be ready for that. And your team it. might be like, oh, I don't really care about that one. Like our jungle yeah. fear is fine or whatever. Let's pressure. Oh let's my pressure God, it's broken. Look like how fast she did it. Some people might be, oh man, Oni's yeah, up and it's late game. Uh, we have fire wave. If we get an Oni wave maybe with fire, this would be huge for us. Let's make sure we go check that. And you can make different plays. It'll be interesting. And it stacks up to three. So fifteen percent is a huge. That makes fire giant stuff easier. Yeah. Right. right. So, so it's not going to be too. I wonder. Longer games there. So that's the main fury. Now gold really fury changes it might. overall. It might. Just want to go over a few things real quick. These furies provide decreased gold rewards. Also oh. give unique bonuses to the team who slays them. Obviously, yeah. The decreased base gold reward. On a gold fury, it would be 150 gold you get. You're only going to get 115 gold for killing these ones. 
You're also okay. going to get decreased gold increase per minute of these. Uh, the gold fury would be six. These are going to be five that you get uh, okay. per spawn. And the XP reward is consistent with the gold fury, however. Correct. So they're going to be worth less gold, obviously, because it's called the gold fury. Sure. But the other furies will have those effects right. and give you less gold. The other two are worth a little less gold. But the experience okay. stays the same. Yes. Correct. That's fine. Between the three. That's all our gold furies. Okay. I mean, I'm excited to see how these those work out. And uh, the RNG. Can you explain why the RNG, by the way? Like, why, why would it, was it selected to be RNG? It's calculated or? RNG. So there's a 50 50, so you get no repeats. Right. Um, we discussed this a lot internally. Um, we still might evaluate the idea of doing a scripted order. So it's always one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's right. possible as well. But we wanted people to have to identify and make decisions around what's spawning next. It's still not too bad because of the fact that you can just go up and see it. Like if you just spawned and we didn't know, and then you're like, oh, it's. No, the you can one tell as soon want, as one you know? dies, yeah. the whole time it's dead and respawning, and while it's alive, you can check any time to see what fury it is. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Moving on then, from the Fury side, back to the Solo side of the map a little bit more, to the Fire Giant yeah. is the next on the list. And Fire gonna be Giant a bit harder. has had a couple of changes too. Fire Giant Enhanced Fire Giant will now yep. use Magma pools, Pool. We knew that was coming. They're back. Yes, yes, they're they're back. Familiar ability. They're a little different, there but they're back. There will be a one second warning deployable under each god in the area okay. of these Magma Pools. After the warning, the area will become damaging Magma. Yep. Yep. Don't read all that. I'm not going <laughs> to read the next bit. But the that's actually the combo of like what to do. This is how it attacks oh, yeah. in order. Yeah. Yeah. We list why, all we, why are we telling people that? Oh, why not? We that's the fun of the learning of like dodge, duck, dip, dive, So weave, we right? listed like, out the full fire giant attack rotation to show you when he'll use the pools. And this is something we still might be making some changes to, but... Okay. We made we we're, we're cutting out some of the attacks to make him sure he uses the pool sooner. So okay. pools will be put into the kit alongside the other abilities he already had. Uh, enhanced fire giant, however, has had his, his base buff, health right? increased. It was six thousand. It's now going to be seven thousand. And the protections okay. of the enhanced the fire giant are also <laughs> going to increase. <laughs> it was ninety to fifty to one twenty to seventy five. So I guess that's fire giant is getting a little bit physical, physical, physical. And the big thing there is the base might look low. You might be like, well, fi enhanced fire giant doesn't have seven thousand health. It starts that, at zero. That, right? that is, well, it has a base value, and then every minute it gets more and more and more. That's just the base value of it. Gotcha. It will still, when it spawns at 25 okay. minutes, it'll have the amount of health it gained over those 25 yep. minutes. Um, one cool. really important thing here as well is that uh, we he's also going to be visually enhanced as well. So currently, I he enhances 25 minutes to deal with We don't have a, a good way of showing that he's a kind, a kind of a different fire giant, right? right? Sure. We've updated his stats. We've also updated him visually, uh, as well as the buff that you're going to get. Because Fire Black Giant's God. Rage, I believe, is the enhanced fire giant buff. Hmm? It's going to be a little bit more purple tinge, a little bit more Tartarus tinge, as well as the fire giant himself. He's going to have a little bit of a glow to him, too. You'll see him actually having a purple glow across his whole body to make it clear that he's enhanced. Uh, I'll think I've got another hit. Enhanced fire giant base power has also increased from 130 to 150 20. Yep, that 20, the 20 magical power. So the way he gets wow. more damage on his abilities, he ranks up, yeah. he actually gets magical power oh. and his abilities scale okay. from magical power. Okay. So that's essentially, that's essentially just a way of he does more damage okay. with his abilities. Now, Pawn, we also have a buff so there's for the, the, there's the, pool, the pools. Oh, the pools back. Back. As we remember, pools. one per uh, god that's inside that area, yep. right? So and it's caged, so you can't just like spread it out. Yep. Just a double check. Will pets still trigger that? Okay. Pets will not trigger that. They no, we took that out. I know, but if they do, Staying staying out. Out. Yeah, yeah, we're not reverting asshole. that rule. Before so there's there's asking. one more bullet point on here about the enhanced fire giant buff for killing him, which we left off these yes, notes. Yes, that's right. The um, it, spoilers of spoilers, interesting. Go on, boys. That was a mistake. <laughs> this should be on the notes. <laughs> we'll make sure it's on the notes before we put them live in the actual patch notes. But we buffed the enhanced fire giant, his health and his scaling and his damage. But we also buff the buff you gain from killing him. Oh, yes. really? We're trying to increase the end game, uh, the the speed at which you can end a game after slaying the enhanced yep. fire giant. This is a hyper late game. Okay. We increased it to interact with structures a little bit differently. Yes. Uh, it's gonna make you deal a little more damage to structures than it used to, and okay. de structures deal less damage to you as well. Oh. It, yeah. Once now wow. with the enhanced fire giant buff, That's you will. Strong ignore some of the backdoor protections that are on towers and phoenixes. So that means That's if a minion huge. wave dies very quickly, if you don't manage That's to get the Oni enhanced buff, so you can actually stay inside the structures and actually deal a little bit more damage than that 50% mitigation that backdoor protection usually prevents you from. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And that'll be in the patch notes after the show. Yes. yes. When it fully comes Oracle's out. Okay. That's it on the fire jam. We've still okay. got a couple more things to go through. It's going to be jungle balance overall here now. All right. Uh, don't read it. it. Don't read it. It's Just let Pawn explain it. <laughs> explain to me why, why we're going going through okay. these numbers here. What, what's changing the jungle? Let's see. So, so quick TLDR is 
we wanted to keep their level one roughly the same, but as they progress through the game, people's uh, builds generally outscaled their health. Right. And so you got to a situation where even without Assassin's Blessing, you were just throwing an ability at a camp and it was dying. Yeah. Um, so we are giving it more health per level so that it's going to keep pace better with, uh, okay. with character or God's damage. Um, as they get their build higher and higher, um, as well camps. as we've also given them base magical protection. They had no base magical uh, protection, really? and so that let some ability users really like excessively kill them too quickly. Yeah. Um, so now they have a little bit of base, so that they're they're more reliably tanky across like all the different gods in the game. These are kind of mini objectives in the late game, yeah. and when we're watching pro play and stuff like that, fights can break out around them, and sure. when they die in one hit, nothing fun really happens around them. It's right? just I was too yeah. late. Yeah. So <laughs> now right. we want to see that more often, and okay. that's why I mean, we're, we're going to buff them. Game and that affects yeah. small harpies, large harpies. It affects buff holders, every jungle camp. Buff minis, oracles, and the gold fury. Uh, the gold fury had some adjustments made to it. Those are okay. separate, right. uh, really balancing. Th those changes are largely towards. Yeah, no uh, way. Our support sure players are ever doing a late game jungle. There's some camp cases anymore, where it wasn't so getting enough protection, so that people could solo it effectively. Don't worry about like, it. Its damage didn't really scale with They're the game. They're not so, for like, us There's a certain point where it just became unthreatening completely. Where it okay. should have some form of threatening, like it should be able to threaten players at all stages of the game. So the base level, all those jungle balance changes are telling me that, like, as the game continues to progress, these camps will try and scale. Yeah to right. stay consistent. Okay. Should just feel better okay. across the yeah. board. They really feel super squishy right now, especially when the mid to late game. Yeah. Yep. That's Jungle Balance. You can read all the information of all those exact tweaks on those Yeah, small there. harpies, large harpies, buff holders, buff minis, oracles, gold fury. It's a lot of balance changes yeah. sure. that we don't want to read all the numbers right. to right now. I'm used to it at this point. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Towers and Phoenixes is the there last thing go. I've got down here. This could be big. These structures now have a visual effect on them if backdoor protections are currently active on the structure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Finally time. And just to help people understand that system a little bit better, there's a little like beams of energy rising cool. up around the tower. So you can tell if it's got bad armor protections there or not. And you see when yes. minions come in, that'll go away. And cool. we, we did actually make one other change to this functionality because it had a weird rule around right. it, which was if minions come into range and you're in range and fighting it, backdoor protections drop. If all minions died, the backdoor protection would stay dropped right. for a few seconds yes. now it'll actually stay dropped as long as you remain in combat if you're willing to commit your health pool oh, to try to kill that it's going to stay down until you actually leave. and then once you leave it resets yep, okay. so and that'll all be visually conveyed Ooh. you'll be able to see that little thing at the base that's to yeah. indicate so the way it used to work is like it's gone you, can you would basically get like the continued backdoor protection like, like, to push a whole wave maybe there and then you get some minions for the tower it goes all right guys i can tank it now we've got now you'll keep it the entire time you could right okay yeah. that, um we have some other small visual updates so. as you'll see we'll be bringing out those more we'll we'll show a little bit more of that as we get yep. closer to the pts it's kind patch. of a nitty gritty um, gameplay change we'll be showing that on social media in the updated yep. patch notes like impactful. we're doing season six and a bunch of pieces right so we still have q a tomorrow we have another show so a lot of our visuals aren't come completely yet. Like uh, we also have an um, indicator for the Oracle Ward. Yeah, we have an indicator we, we for have the a, area of the Oracle Ward. Indicator ward. for the exact radius of what the enemy can see yep. oh. or the ally can see when you take that ward. So you can kind of sneak through the Gold Fury Pit more effectively now because you know where not to yeah, go to be yeah. seen, there's, which is um, really fun. There's a Brazier by the Pyromancer now that indicates when a team has the Pyromancer buff because currently there is no way of knowing whether that buff is still active for enemies. Similar so to the staring. torches by the yeah. Gold Furies. Nice. Yep. So. Wow, yeah, we're adding a bunch helpful. more stuff like that. So keep an eye out for that as we get closer to launch day so with everything we got through today that is it for what we've got on items gods and huh. map changes we did it gentlemen <laughs> though you guys tomorrow <sighs> right are doing a q a oh we're back yes. i believe yeah so tomorrow how okay, is this q a back. going on tomorrow just so people um, at home know what's involved and we're how gonna hop involved. in a stream room okay. we're gonna be looking at chat and things you liked about today, disliked, things you want to know more about, what what the heck okay. were you thinking when you did this? <laughs> explain more we detail, want to yeah. explain that. We, we want to show off our, our reasoning. Yep. And we also want to maybe look at some possibilities of changing a few things. Maybe the way the notes written today are not set in stone. Sure. Nothing is perfect. Yep. Balance is an art. Um, so if we want to um, talk to the community, talk to the pros, talk to players, experts on certain gods, certain experiences who can share information with us to push us in different directions, we're going to be open to that too. Okay, yep. cool. And that's tomorrow, three till five. And there's one more exciting time. thing tomorrow that we're also going to do. We're going oh, to go into Merlin the details of Merlin's ultimate. Thing. Yes, that's right. You're going to show that tomorrow? We're not we're going, going to show to it. talk about it. <laughs> talk about it yes. because merlin has been a, we gave a little bit of information that he's a unique stance changer mm. with three stances yes we've seen the thread where people were trying to ah. listed hundreds of different ways yeah, which we could exciting. make this stance changing different and i think they did finally get somewhere they on got list. one very very close was at least very close if not correct so we want to talk about that reveal that make that known before we show off merlin next week on the final 6-1 patch show
PTS, you said, is looking at next, next Tuesday. Week. Hopefully next Tuesday. Is that correct? It'll most likely be the after the patch show next week, yeah. Cool. So as soon as we sure show the again, final so content and everything, then we'll be able to go right into it. Perfect. And then they'll be on the PTS for about a week, two weeks, we were saying. Right. And cool. if we make any balance changes just from the discussion phase, we'll bring those up next week. Gentlemen, pleasure. Our favorite things about season six, on at least in terms of item and balance so far that you show us. Well, guys, that's the end of the season six patch notes. That was like the actual factual real deal. Um, you know, season six patch notes. I admit that I thought more things would have changed more drastically. I know they had said beforehand that they wanted to do less changes than in previous seasons, but I kind of feel like it made the new season not feel like so much of a new season. Like I feel like a lot of games now are moving towards like shorter seasons with like bigger changes more often in order to keep people interested. And while there are some large changes, uh, namely let's say end game boots, potion, right? Uh, obviously opens up an entirely new item slot in your builds. So you have a six slot now for not having to have boots. Um, and though that that's crucial, but like relics are still basically all the exact same. There was some buffs and nerfs, but there wasn't really any God reworks, um, there wasn't any new items really. Like they added the tier three to Doom Orb, but that's it. There outside of that, there was no new items. Um, they don't. They didn't even like nerf all of the top gods. Freya didn't get touched. Erlang really didn't get touched. A lot of these gods that are Fenrir didn't get touched. Um. So I mean, the new Gold Fury is cool. The new Gold Fury is going to change the game a little bit. That totem over in Solo Lane where it's like rush down to see who gets it first um, is going to have a little bit of impact on the game, but not huge. But I just, I don't know. Like most of the changes are like cool, seems fine. Like, yeah, maybe these will be fun, a little bit different, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But I just, I don't have that like, wow, the game is going to feel so different than it did last season, which I feel like I've always had in Smite. Like, I've always been like, wow, the game is going to be totally different. And I don't really feel like that, which is kind of awkward, because I feel like it helps get people back to play the game, and especially for, like, streamers and stuff, just, like, a personal perspective. Like, it's nice, and it helps you, like, fight back against, like, wear out and stuff, because... It's like totally new when you're trying to figure everything out, but like it was, um, yeah, like the, the, the buffs are all basically the same. Still blue buff, speed buff, purple buff, red buff. They didn't change those at all. Like they're getting tougher in the late game, but like, I don't know. I just, I feel like the meta strats are still gonna like be fairly meta strats outside of like mages build bancrofts instead of book of thoth so like that's a little bit different but um yeah i'm just not super sold on uh i don't know just, i felt like there, there could have been just more i felt like just like oh i feel like the new season is such an opportunity to just rah, and just really get all up in there you know so, we'll see how it goes, but it just feels a bit like, it just feels a bit toned down, you know? Like mashed potatoes without any butter in them. You're like, yeah, they're mashed potatoes, but like, where's the butter? Where's my sour cream, you know? But, 